live here in just a few seconds. Uh, once I see that everything's up and moving. That's good. That's good. That's good. All right. Uh, go over to that site. Slide this over here. Excuse me. Everyone, alongside one of the best storytellers I've ever known, Kirk Gibson. I'm Matt Shepard. And the story here we are. Between Detroit and Cleveland has been 19. That's right, 19 straight. Yeah, we know. We Last know it's been 19 straight. We Cleveland know. Victory. Gibby, they're getting closer. But what's the biggest difference between these two teams? All right, here we go. That's well, up. That's up. Out boom, boom, out, boom. They got out, hit the first, uh, the first game. Number 19. Tigers win today. I hope so. I hope so. Dave Rose was number, right? So yeah. the Rose is going to get us over the hump. But they're going to try it. All right, a that's a little loud. Today. Hold on. Last night we had our best starter and, and Spencer Turnbull on the mound. Today yeah. we're going to do it a little bit differently, though. Yeah, Adam Pletko gets the nod for Cleveland. Detroit will go with a righty lefty combo. Now, not in the middle of a There we go. That's probably a good mix. Michael Fulmer and Tyler Alexander. Yeah, right. We're going to go, yeah. but they call it Michael Fulmer's going as the opener coming off the Tommy John surgery. They're going to protect There we go. Yep, that sounds down. good. Showing the ball very well, averaging 94 right. miles per hour, is getting the strength in his arm up. We're looking for that curveball, and when he was the rookie and had the great years, he had that good changeup. So, Gardy told us three innings, that's it, no matter how good he's uh, pitching, and that's what it's going to be. And he's going to be followed by the left hander, Tyler Alexander, who's had a much better All right. luck. Uh, what's up, uh, what's up, Rob Gronkowski? Give me the Tigers' money line today, the they get the job done. I hope so. Come on, let's not get swept. I hope so, Wes. Let's not get that sweep. Uh, hopefully. Why is it frozen? How they get there is really has a lot to do with how Tyler Alexander plays in the, how he pitches in that middle part of the game mm -hmm. to get there so we can close down that win. Fulmer with moderate numbers against Cleveland in his career. Alexander has never Hold on, I don't know what's going on. For some reason, my camera's not wanting to work. My go. kids said, hey, that number 11 for Cleveland, Ramirez, he's a baller. I said, you think? He's a menace, and he's been one his entire career against the Tigers. Fulmer and Alexander try and quiet him and the tribe when we come back. What's up, Alex? What's up, Joel? What's up, Kevin? All the teams will be where the 100th anniversary patch on their jersey. Yeah, yeah. What's going on with my webcam lately? That thing's a piece of shit, dude. Oh, there we go. There I am. Don't know what that was about. It's fucking up on me. It's fucking up, this webcam. Oh, what's up, Alex? How's it going, man? All right. Not much, Ramir. How's it going, man? Uh, right now, it's a commercial break. Uh, we're going to see ch -ch 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 Michael Fulmer versus who's pitching for the tribe? Plutko. So I don't know how this is going to go. Uh, Fulmer hasn't pitched quite well this season. Uh, he's been kind of streaky. But again, you know, he's coming back from major injury. So make sure everyone leaves a like. Try to get this up into double digits. Uh, and then to 20 is the, op is the obvious end goal of everything tonight. Uh, we've got six likes, so 90% of you haven't liked it yet. Uh, how, how does that break down? Uh, most of you haven't liked it yet. No, I'm just playing. We're good, though. I'm just, we're just waiting for the game to get underway. The Patriots or the, the, the Bucks? Limited games. Yeah, it's hard to tell. Yeah, especially if you're a Cardinals fan. Um, it's it's hard to tell right now what your team's gonna be go like you know you've had seven games. The Bucks, uh, yeah, like ten and six, eleven and five. As long as everything, I think you guys stumble out of the gate, but I think you finish by about week four or five. I think the Bucks are a very very difficult team to compete with. Um, but I think it takes like a couple weeks. We'll see though, especially without a preseason. Uh, but yeah, Fulmer, you really can't blame. He hasn't what this is his first real season since twenty sixteen. So, 
I think we can win. Yeah, it looked like we were starting to show signs late last night of coming back together. It, what's up, Trey? But it, it sort of seems like there was signs that the Tigers were starting to figure it out Here's yesterday, but we ran out of time. You can't shake America. off uh, missing the whole year of uh, arm surgery and that. throw a person. Uh, yeah, exactly. Exactly, exactly. Negro League Baseball Museum in Kansas City, Missouri. It is a gem. It is a must-see if you're a baseball fan. And today, all right. we help celebrate one. Oh, we're all the way up to nine. Thank you, guys. I appreciate that. Good looking out. Leagues, as do the yeah, hopefully, hopefully. We could use a big win tonight. On Fox Sports Detroit with the first pitch. Coming up next. Oh, they're not wearing the Stars jerseys. That's kind of disappointing. Usually, they wear the Stars on this weekend. So that's a little uh, disappointing by uh, baseball that they're not busting out the old unis. Almost every team has, you know, a corresponding league jersey they could wear, so I don't understand why the hell the Tigers aren't wearing the Stars. Hamtramck Park, home of uh, the Detroit Stars. Yeah, I, I don't understand why, uh, the D why they're not wearing the Stars uniform today. Like, I've always remembered in the past, it's always been like they wear the Stars uniforms today. Yeah, me too. Those things are so nice. We got some real nice, uh, <laughs> you know, the Detroit Stars have some really classic uniforms. Um, so it's kind of a bummer that they're not wearing them. Damn. Yeah, it's weird. It's weird. It's like, I, I don't, under, it must be because of COVID and everything. It, it has to be like a COVID related issue that they're not letting them wear. Like, you know what I, like they have a set. Maybe Nike hasn't made them yet. Colt 45's jerseys. Yeah, dude. It was, that's awesome. You know what I mean? Like the, the, Those uniforms are always fun when they wear them. I don't know why. Usually Detroit always wears them. It, I wonder if Nike hasn't made the... Because, you know, Nike makes the uniforms now. I'm wondering if um, the new uniforms aren't... They haven't made them yet. And it might just be a COVID issue. They would definitely have the Stars stuff. Yeah, you would think so. No, they're the Negro League uniforms, the Detroit Stars. They're the uh, Negro League's uh, affiliate for us. Kind of like the, what was it, the KC Royals? No, no, the KC Kings? Is that what KC's was called? Because they, they had a crown. It's the one Ro Jackie Robinson played for, I believe. Um Were they the crown? What the Welcome fuck was the name of that team? Or were they the Royals and the Royals just eventually became the problem with the Court 45s that every uh, time the Astros talk about wearing it? Too many people talk about how the... Oh. The, Tigers the gun on the jerseys. <sighs> they could fix that out. Which is shocking. I'd just wear it against the Texas Rangers and play the game in Texas. No one will give a shit. The Monarchs, that's what they're... Okay. I thought it was the Kings for some reason. So it's Hernandez, Ramirez, Lindor, Santana, Reyes, Naquin, Santana, Leon, and DeShields. Pretty much the same lineup we've been seeing the last two days, it looks like. All right, Fulmer, let's, let's go. Fucking. Be his third start after coming back from Tommy John. Actually, the delayed season allowed him to start the regular season, the late regular season. Two and two thirds in his first start, three innings in his last start, much better. All right, Fulmer. He's looking to build on that. He will only be in there for three innings, and then we'll see Tyler Alexander. Oh, he's got the strict three inning thing behind. again. It looked really good against the White Sox last time out. Here's the defense behind. Are you sure about side. that, Goodman, Acker, Kevin? Castro with that he didn't play for the uh, Monarchs. First start there, Jonathan Scope has Because if I can find the jersey, uh, if I can show you that uh, Robinson played Jose for the Monarchs at one point. And Grayson Griner catches Michael Fulmer for the first time this yeah, year. Yeah, Tigers are one of the, the oldest third teams. Time in his career. Guardy with the fresh mask on today, ready to go. They want to beat the tribe. <clears throat> After Jackie Robinson played for the Kansas City Monarchs and he before he uh, broke the bro uh, the Major League Baseball's color barrier with the Brooklyn Dodgers, he played for the Kansas City Royals. Uh, the man who would be selected by Branch uh, Ricky to break the color barrier in modern baseball began his career in the league. In 1945, Robinson played his only season in black baseball as a shortstop with the Kansas City Monarchs. Jackie was a Monarch. 
Tigers came in here not walking. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. However, 14 walks in the first two games. So. Yeah, he's got the dark visor. All right, so we got a 1 1. What is that? 2 0 now for uh, Hernandez, who's hitting 273. Here we go. Underway. Houston Astros are old. If they have a few include them at the time as a minor league team. That's fair. If you do that, that's. I know the Tigers are one of the older teams in baseball, they've been around for forever. DJ Rayburn. 3 and 0 count Rayburn uh, not Rayburn. Why did I think Ryan Rayburn right here? Tight zone. 1894. Is that when Detroit baseball was established? You just think when you start the game you have a certain expectation. There's a bunt and a good one, but it rolls. That's going to go foul. Full count. Good job to let that one go foul. Good bunt, though. Not a bad bunt. Good thought. Actually, a really good idea to drop a drag bunt. He probably would have beat that out. Tigers had the shift on. That's a good idea. Good idea. Yeah, there has to be something about that they just couldn't get their hands on the jerseys this year. Because they have, they're all patched up and everything, and you know, and normally it's not a big deal, at least to wear the hats. Two strikes on him, the three two. And he flies out. Left center. Wait, Jones maybe. Got a really good jump on it. He's gonna give way to Stewart. There we go. One away. one away. There we go. Good way good way to battle back. Good way to battle back. Yeah, in 1894, the Detroit Tigers it's were found, uh, founded in the Western Conference the and Minor League. Oh, that's when they officially started. Indians okay. On a 19 game roll in the series. Give you Indians 19 game winning streak. Second longest for a single opponent in MLB since 1969. 14 base on balls allowed in the first two series of the game the Tigers have allowed. Uh, so. Here's Jose Ramirez. Not been a good stretch for this team against this team. The Tigers against the Indians, they have not played quite well. Just couldn't do anything against them. Two for three. Double, couple of stolen bags. Jose Ramirez up, who's absolutely RBIs. destroyed the Tigers this series. Just a steady player. Fuck. Oh, maybe he flew out. Did he fly out? Two hey, balls. Jones has a really big thing of dip in his mouth. Nice. <laughs> uh, they can't be showing Jacoby's face right now. He's literally, his lip is like this. It's either he got punched in the mouth and he's got a fat lip or... Uh, they accidentally showed him dipping we real hard. I know they had they're lenient on it. What the fuck is going on with this camera, dude? As Gibby mentioned, he threw three innings, gave up just three hits, no runs, a couple of strikeouts. Gardy said, loved the velo. The velo was up, up to 95. The breaking ball was sharp. And when he came off the mound, he told me he felt really good, right? So the confidence is there, even though they'll leave him at three innings today. I don't know what that was. All right, whatever. I had to switch it around to a new spot in the computer. Facing Francisco Lindor, and it's one and one. One and one. Good pitch. When the American they League was formed, became Pro League. Okay. They joined the MLB as the Houston Colt 45s, becoming the Astros in 1965. The Astros were founded in 1888 as the Houston. Uh, that'll be high and inside ball, too. Uh, they was in 1920. They became the first minor league affiliate of a team. The Cards as the Houston Buffs. In 1960, one they were given with a run the Cubs, yeah, and in 1962, they joined the MLB. One. Okay. The oldest AL team to be in its original city and kept its original name. I know that about the Tigers, that they're pretty much one of, like, the og OG teams. Is Francisco Lindor, which surprises long, pr long, proud history for this team. Well, we've had Ty Cobb. Drives ah, to fuck. Right. Lindor just hit a ground rule double. That's a ground rule double for Francisco Lindor. And that's actually kind of a convenient thing that the ball went up over the wall, to be honest with you, because he probably would have tripled right there. Luckily, it's just a ground rule double. That could have been a triple, you guys. Lindor's really fast, so that's that's good that that was a double. Ball was breaking down away, actually. They used to be an NL team in. Lindor. Uh, they used to be a National League team in Detroit. Detroit was a National League team. So there's the so the, here's the news. We're all packed up and headed to Flint all week. Could move things once Carlos I get settled Santana. in. I'm still doing the basement painting. Hell yeah, ma'am. Hell yeah, dude. Are you excited to be moving? Santana. Fuck. On the first pitch, but oh, right to him. Right there we go. Hell yeah. All right. One hit. That's all we give up. That's pretty cool. Why didn't that update at all? 
Whatever. Up, do up now is Goodrum, Castro, and Cabrera for the Tigers. Goodrum, Castro, and Cabrera against Plutko. The Detroit Wolverines. Oh, okay. What team did they eventually turn into? Let, wait, let me try to guess. They became the Cincinnati Reds. They played in a recreation park in mon, uh, modern day Grace Hospital in Midtown. Okay. Would they become like the Reds or something or like the uh, like a fucking Pirates or somebody? Yes, but no, because of the movie stuff, I would still need your help. That's your call. I don't want you to think you're going to get sick. I'm pay you uh, day by day. Um, we can, uh, we'll talk uh, once I'm off stream Packers Nation about stuff like that. The Wolverines won the 1887 NL title, then fo folded. Oh, they folded. Yeah, we did, Sports Expert. We also got very lucky that that ball went over the uh, wall, and that wasn't a fucking triple by Lindor. He probably could have tripled. Um, I don't think uh, Castro played that very well. Stars hats today. I think you said that. Yeah, we should have at least wore the hats. I thought we should at least be wearing the caps. Jerseys are whatever, because I can understand if there's a problem in the manufacturing. Jesus, dude. Yeah, that's a... Yeah, the, all the moving the stuff, that's going to be the biggest bitch of the whole thing. And, yeah, moving companies are... <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, 6,000. <laughs> yeah, every pro league has a ton of teams that folded back then. Oh, yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. In position here come the Tigers. Detroit's I'm surprised we actually don't get more teams Michigan. folding today. Um, Jamer Candelario is batting in the number five, five bedroom spot. Jesus, man. Going for four. Last night, Willie Castro scored Detroit's lone run in the three one loss last night. There's a point Jacoby in NFL Jones history when two teams formed to merge one. RBI double last night. The only other guy, really, what two teams was that? Year, Harold Castro, Cleveland, Adam Pletko, Pletko. This season, his All right, this here we go. fourth game, he's got the low, expected ball in the air, lowest ground ball rate. He's right down there, only 30%. Major League average is around 44, 45. So he gives up a lot of fly balls. And, uh, good amount of contact, 12th lowest rate of misses on the Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's an aggravating you know, amount of stuff. But once you're done and settled, man, everything's real cheap in fucking Michigan, especially living in Flint. I don't know if you've uh, peeped around living there, but, dude, it's dirt cheap living in Michigan. The afternoon. Quickly two and oh to good it's, it's almost stunningly cheap to live in Flint. It's almost like, well, why is everything so Basketball, inexpensive here? Slider. This feels wrong. <laughs> Genesee County is very nice about Change that. Only to lefties. Philadelphia, Pittsburgh. Uh, the Steagles. Really? They eventually just become the Steelers? Goodrum 0 for 3 in last night's loss. 3.5 thousand. Oh my God, dude. Not to strike out. 2-2. Two, two. Does have a homer in this series, and if Detroit hits three homers in this Even game... Even are wearing patches, yeah. Yeah, you know, it's a big day. Tomorrow, it's 100 years. It's the anniversary. Fries. Be a welcome sight. Detroit with 28 bombs on the year. They separated again to be the Steelers and Eagles. They became the Steagles. But they became... <laughs> that's hilarious. Ooh, that hurts. Oh, your house got sold. That's even better that's news. The foot or the shin? And he fouls that off, and he's going to walk it off because he kind of fouled it off his leg. Would you take? Probably would take Goodrum's probably about to invest in a shin guard now. It's oh, he does have one. What the hell? Your shin generally. I mean, they hurt. You get down in the ankle. And the the Detroit Heralds? Break them. It's just easier. In Smaller my bones. Mind, easier in my yeah. mind to yeah. deal with the shin burn. It's the whole moving state to state. Yeah, I, yeah, I can imagine that's... Moving from city to city is a motherfucker, dude. 2-2 two, two to Goodrum. And that'll be high, ball three. That was Good at bat here for Goodrum. Goodrum's really settled into the leadoff role for the Tigers. You can see the target up there willing to go to 3-2. It's uh, quite nice to see it because he gets a nice long at bats, uh, often gets into full There's counts to lead off the game. Driven to center. To Shields with a Damn, what a catch by the Shields. Helps to have one of those long gloves out Defunct there. pro football team. Oh, okay, the Heralds are. But Rob Nico it's just Goodrum the whole... Yeah, I read that. Could have been very good. Very good play to, by the Shields out there. Read that well. 3-2 count. Stayed on it. Didn't try and pull it. Good at bat by Goodrum, though. with an outstanding play.
You're gonna flip the. Oh yeah, yeah, dude. Selling houses and houses and how like real estate's a good way to make uh, a lot of money, like a lot of fast good money. Which is illegal. Yeah, but it's not. Guys, if you can get a house cheap. Here's Harold Castro. And if Flint ever booms, people so people in Flint stand to get real fucking rich if they if they ever if they actually own their house and property. Because eventually Flint may turn, and if it does, that's an expensive that's a city that could become very expensive to live in if uh, the medical marijuana industry actually does what it's supposed to do for the city and slowly is, by the way. What's up, Daniel? How's it going? Flint, uh, Flint has heavily embraced the medical marijuana industry, and it's it's paying major dividends. Um, it's kind of like Detroit embracing the technology, the tech industry. Um, That's a base hit. A good. There we go. Castro's on. To get on board with one away here in the first. Flint needs the auto industry to come back. If you're good at home repair, that's a good move. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is, Mike. Same here, Kevin. They're getting up there for me, Kevin. They're getting. I, it's it's hard for me to hate Cleveland, only because I feel for Cleveland. I, I'm good, man. I'm good, Daniel. I'm good, man. I'm glad to hear. Uh, you know, you're having a, or at least you know, living. Good luck, Charm. I guess. Yeah, learning how to fix up houses and then flip real estate is such good see if money. Miguel can get on track here a little bit, Gibby. That was That'd costed 185. My house sold for that much. Pops it up. Yeah, exactly, dude. That's a, it's Santana. And that'll be two out. God, Cabrera needs. I don't know what's going on with Miggy. Lions are the 15 that played in Detroit. Yeah, I know there was like the Spartans. Um, Body language seems to say pressing. Trying to do a lot, you know, you get, you get your hits. It relaxes you, and you, you're more patient. Uh, I don't know. I just the Indians are kind of fucked over, dude. They lose all their top team, like players always leave. Nobody wants to stay in the city. Uh, they're just as affected by the auto industry failing as Detroit was. Like the right thing. The whole thing just kind of cool like game at times, but you dig through it. Very rewarding in the end. Even guys I don't like Kansas Burke. City yeah, more than so anything. Well, I hate the fucking Royals. Them, them two hitter. years have made them the cockiest but fucking people in this fan base in the world, it. I think. And, uh, you know, the Dayton Stan uh, Staley's. The Heralds, hard. Panthers, Tigers, and Wolverines. One, one little something could happen. Damn, dude, Michigan's got a whole bunch of failed teams in it. I know we have a hilarious amount of, like, you know, arena football teams. Uh... Like the Flint Firebirds, I know existed. Scope with four homers, all in this ballpark. And his one. I wish I would have no, been in the United States more when a, Michigan had um, arena football. That looked really cool. O2 count now for Scope, hitting 243. Could use a big hit here. Here's the O2 and Reaches fouls it off. Spoils it. USFL, Michigan Panthers so won it one all. Hey, it's dude, do? it's Just only the fuck the Firebirds. Hey, come on now. What's wrong with the Firebirds? You get a piece of gum, you sit on the, de the, the bench, you sit next to And the Cavaliers somebody, had the best player of all time and only won one ring from it. You're mad at of our time. Yeah, the play. Yeah, no, it's a cursed city. Detroit isn't cursed. It's just it's unlucky in football. All of its other uh, fucking franchises are like historically like ah oh, fuck. Scope strikes out. Well, Tigers get a hit. Go to the top of the second. Reyes, Naquin, Santana, do up. Reyes, Naquin, Santana, do up for the tribe. Yeah, the rampage. Yup, yup. Grand Rapids actually probably could support its own uh, fucking football team. Like, if Grand Rapids wanted to get its own professional sports team, like a major league team, the, the whole western side of the state would be like, fuck Detroit, and they'd be rooting for that team. Saginaw Spirit always above the Flint. Uh, boo, Saginaw. Go Flint. Um, but uh, the Vipers, cool names. Rodgers was interviewed, and he seemed to be like, he can't wait to play football this season. I wonder why. Maybe love. Yeah, you know, I wonder if uh, Rodgers is a little motivated to finally play some football and shut some people's mouths. We'll see. We'll see. The Lakers started. Now, I didn't know that one. The Tigers have... Uh... Yeah, the Tigers have the white caps, yeah. 
I think, um, but if, if Grand Rapids got its own football team, I don't think it would be that difficult for, I feel like most of this state would ditch the Lions, man. It would be bad. They'd be like, yeah, we're done with the whole Lions thing. Do you remember the CBA? Um, no, I don't think so. Kevin hates Aaron Rodgers. Could Brady the Goat in football be the curse if he went to the Browns? Brady could have. Yeah, I think so. The Detroit Gems. And there's a hilarious amount of fucking teams that have been through Michigan and Detroit and just not worked out. But, you know, we have... Uh, Teams that did work out. We got Here's the Red the Wings. Good Mutual history. Field coverage. Yeah, Gus Macker. I, I've done Andy the Gus Man Macker tournaments. Third base started the season at third Those are always base. really fun. That little drop step he's been working on with Alan Trammell. One year, my, me and my buddies won a Gus Macker tournament. Like I was, of course, the third guy on a team with two guys who played college football, side. but um, that's well, beside the point. Trying to figure out who to put at third because Candy's going to be at first it looks like for some time yeah with the news that uh, cj crone has elected to have surgery and is done for the season that first base job is candelario's quickly zero and two to friend mill reyes good sliders right there reyes 0 for three yesterday but did draw a walk the 0 2 i don't know what's going on my camera's oh there i am i'm i'm back okay yesterday just decided to have a camera Detroit again. I don't know. I have to fix that. Something's fucking up. Year. Pistons had a few good years. Pistons have had good years. Oh, yeah. You gotta watch him. He likes to Started in Lowell, Michigan. Yeah, I know that. Keep modest. Russ always around. Aaron Rott. Yeah. Cleveland did uh, that. Yep. Some of it. Instead, he hammers yeah, the Jets right signed Chris Hogan. Uh, they have a bunch. That that's gone. gone. Yes, he likes yeah. to get his arms out. Right? Second homer of the series for Fran Mio Reyes. And the fourth of his career. Yeah, it's still a three-on-three three tournament. One nothing Cleveland. That's gone. This guy's really uh, showboating so for a solo home run night. in the this second guy, inning. Very good. Gets his arms out. Look at it. It's up. That was kind of a. I hope they drill him in his fucking head next time up. Maybe at the top of the zone. Imagine showboating like that for a solo home run that That's barely right. makes it over the fence in the second inning. Like, tie him up, you know, cool, bro. Occasionally. I'm. I would fucking be drilling you your next no. time up. I'm, I'm Go around the fucking bases watching. like that on my Easy team with for, for a solo shot in the second inning. You're wearing the next pitch on your fucking dome, or I'll, I'm throwing it at you. I mean, fucking what a fucking bitch move. I hate shit like that. I'd literally be drilling him in his it, not in his head. That's a little fuck. I'd be drilling him right in his fucking stomach his next time up. Really good numbers against Fulmer. You see him right there. Five. Fuck that. I hate that showboaty bullshit. Look at, oh, look at me hitting a two-run shot, a solo homer in the second. Okay, so like, do you throw in? What's going on with my fucking camera, dude? Well, did a little research on that. The Hold on a moment. 33%. They're th ranked third. Tigers only 18%. They down the pack a little bit. Just that. Yeah, no, you're, I'm drilling the knee on the next time. Last up. night, they were able to execute the balls around the plate. Why is that important, do you think, Tom? Because if you're a hitter, you get comfortable and you just start diving, diving, diving. You want to make sure that you make that plate be wide. If you throw a great pitch on the outside corner, you don't want him diving and just smacking it. You want to keep him honest. Yeah. And if you watch every major league game that you ever watch, um, you can tell the veteran guys. Yeah, that was a, it. Was a good shot. I just don't understand the the, uh, the, the douche move there It'll at the in. end. You, you can watch where Grayson. Oh, there I am. Look how tiny I've become. Pitch. I had to bust Watch out my old webcam. Pitcher is going to hit that target. Well, I, I, it Command looks a little strange now. Command your fastball. Yeah. So Watch his glove as he move it. Pretty, pretty good right there. It's where he wanted it. It's where he got it. If you can hit your target, and then the other part about it is, is your defense becomes better because you can play back. to the report, yeah. to the game plan, yeah. to, to even make that a little bit more finite. 
All right. Um, relay sides that. out there. All right, there we go. Sorry so about that. Know, I'm. You know, I had to bust out my old webcam. Right here, right? I don't know what's Move going on with the, the other thing. Fielder, Christian Stewart, because you're expecting him to, the only ball that would go there would be a jam shot. That's how it works. The Calgary Flames and Winnipeg Jets, stuff. Atlanta Thrashers. Damn, Atlanta had both the their middle. teams took. Got a line drive base hit for Tyler. And Nathan. that's a base hit. Boyd was battling mental health issue. Oh. You're just, going away there. Just, just ran back you know. over the plate. Naquin did a good job. Just serve it up. Is that why? Is, is that supposed to like make us go, oh, you know, Boyd, you know. Uh, so that drops in is that why we haven't seen him pitch in a minute? Back-to-back -back hits to start the Cleveland second. All right, here we go. Here's Domingo Santana. This other camera is very zoomed in. I don't know why that is. Feels very zoomed up. Hold on, what is this? Santana with all three starts in left field. In the it's series. definitely a cleaner capture of a picture. That's for certain. Swing and a miss at the first offering. Hartford Whalers played in the uh, two for mall. six <laughs> in the series for Santana. One of those hits, a three-run homer. Thought it was Boyd because you remember he had a mental breakdown on the mound. Um, it might. I don't. I don't remember. On the ground to Goodrum. Six, four, when three, was that? Like play. last Could year or something? It. I don't remember that happening this year. Double play. There we go. That was much needed. Much, much needed. Falcons and the Gems. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Got the ground ball he needed. Nate went on first. To watch the infield today. It's see the, dar the darkness. The very, very down. nice Did double play. The game? You're gonna see but I guess lighter, Candy's lighter. just going to be the first baseman this year now. I mean, Something to the infielders last as they night. Understand how to approach the ground balls. Boy didn't pitch last night. See Fulmer's approach against Sandy Leon. We talk a lot about Carlos Santana and his ability to draw walks. Turnbull. It's justified, right? I mean, it's no. Turnbull's just series. crazy, dude. I don't. Uh, he's just crazy. I don't. I don't think he had a mental health issue or anything. He just, just like talks Santana. and yells at himself. He doesn't have One mental health problems. The Indians catcher. He's just fucking crazy guy. He just yells at himself and shit. I don't know. Mark Fidrich did it. I, I genuinely don't think Turnbull yeah, has mental health. I just think he's like a crazy guy who screams at himself sometimes. You get the corner too. You get behind. You have to have that command. Yeah, I don't. I don't think Turnbull's got any pro had a mental breakdown. He just yells at himself. Oh, just off the plate, Grayson Griner tried to pull that one in. I didn't see anything about him going on any kind of disabled list or any reports about that anywhere in any news. Three, one, yeah, I, yeah, I don't think that's good reporting. Just with three straight inside, and he draws a two-out walk. What is it? Does this back? Well, he talks to himself. He's having mental health issues. Well, not really. Does that doesn't mean anything. Right there. Stupid fucking that Detroit happened. Free Press. Two -out walk. Garbage. That's I hate the Detroit Free him. Press, by the way. The Lino de Shield. Started Friday night. I'm pretty sure that's what gave off. birth to fucking Rob Parker. Four in the series opener. Yeah, I mean, dude, I, I like, I don't, I don't care. I don't think that, I don't think he has any mental. He just, so what? He yells at himself. Couldn't hold if that's up, the only evidence they have is that he talks to himself on the mound and yells at himself, then like every pitcher in baseball is mentally insane. You know what I mean? Literally every single pitcher Over yells at themselves. Quick pitch there. You might get called for a oh, block cool, man. Uh, it's nice. Now the old one. Line drive to right. That'll drop in front of Harold Castro. Two on, two out. Third hit of the inning for Cleveland. And now to the top of the order. Look at all the Cleveland. They're not trying to pull the ball. All of, all the three hits have been the other way. Here's he's got just serves it out to right field. Cool. So, I, I genuinely don't care about all this history stuff about it, it things that don't exist. Uh, I don't care. Whatever. Balls. That's a good point. They've got four hits on the day. Yeah, I don't think it's. Yeah, it's so, stupid. It's not a. It's not a correct assessment of Spencer Nathan Turnbull. Up the middle. I've never heard of him having mental health problems. Including the friend Reyes. 
Oh hell yeah, that's cool, man. Home that's dope. To lead off this second. If he misses with a pitch here or gets behind the count. I'd like maybe see an infielder going there. Most of the time the Tigers why, why is it catchers are going that? out that's there. Annoying. See if somebody you know, Daryl Levis was really good at it. He'd come in there and talk. Fernandez up. The coaches and Lance didn't always have to go out. Did Evans do that on his own, or was that, do you think, directed? Oh, yeah. Daryl was a nice. at the time. He was great. Here's the 01. Did not go. It's 1-1. One, one, one. Didn't Cesar go. Hernandez, who flew out to no, I didn't, no, I didn't hear any thunderstorms it's this morning. I was probably sleeping. And I live in a different part of the state than you, so I probably didn't have thunderstorms this morning. So. No. The 23 pitch inning so far for Michael Fulmer. Remember, he's only going three. Yeah, no, Here's yeah. the one one. Two one, it's bad pitch inside. inside. Two and one now. We Tyler had thunderstorms like late last night at like one in the morning, but the that's not really this morning. Here's the two one. It's just outside. What the fuck is Fulmer doing, dude? See, Throw Mike a fucking strike, you that's, dumb that's bitch. Out the plate, not by much. I'm about done with this fucking guy. Injury or not, I've seen pitchers come back a lot fucking uh, quicker than this. If you watch Grayson Grinder, I'm sure he's gonna be mumbling. I get it. He hasn't had actual time in the real games yet, but it's like, come on, dude. Throw a strike. Gonna try and get that call. This is starting to get really Fulmer frustrating. You've had two outs for a very long time. Three and two. Good and fucking Fernandez idiot. He, that's, you got called strike because you started to walk to first. And a season later, the Detroit Red Wings, for sure. 40 pitches, 23 strikes of them. God, that's terrible. That ratio is that is bad right now. I'm getting a little frustrated with full And the payoff. Like, there we go. Hey, there we go. Way to get out of it. There we go. Way to battle back. But he gives up the homer to Reyes to make it. All right, one nothing quick. after the stupid home run by Reyes. Now Detroit's got to get it back. Um, we'll see what they do here. They have. I was gonna say Candelario, Stewart, Castro. That's that's a pretty good p chance of scoring some runs. Candelario, Stewart, Castro. Yeah, but you know what happened there? Your guy walked off before even getting a call on uh, ball three. Uh, he walked off thinking he got ball four. For some reason, umpires are very uh, vindictive when a guy just decides like, all right, that's ball four, and then they call strike. And I went, dude, if, that, if it's anywhere near the zone, they're going to fucking ring his ass out now for that. Then won the cup in 36, 37, 43, 50, 51, 52, 54, and 55. Red Wings got a lot of cups. I know they won it in, what, 90? They won a couple in the 90s, like two in the 2000s, maybe three of them. Red Wings got a pretty good history. Long history of uh, a lot of championships in like the 90s and early 2000s. Yeah, that's what I said, the 2000s. I didn't say the 2010s. 97, 98, 2002, and 2008. Yeah. No, the Tigers, do we haven't won shit since 84. This team needs to win. <laughs> All right, we got 14 likes. I appreciate that, guys. Let's try and get that up to 20 as quick as we can. Um, and then, you know, we don't talk about the likes anymore. I'm really sad that my fucking webcam is fucked up, and now I have to fix this one. We, we used to have power, uh, power hitters like Pujols and McGuire. Yeah, you used to. Indians lead it 1-0 here as we head into the bottom uh, of the second inning with Jamie Candelario leading off. You're injured. Gibby talking about his defensive prowess. It's not luck. It's poor. You guys base. need to fire your Candy strength and conditioning, coach. You need to get, get rid better. of that bum. If Trust me, the better, Tigers had a very similar problem in 07 to 2011 games, where everybody would just get hurt, and it's just like, what the fuck is happening? Y'all need to get a new strength and conditioning, coach. If you have 10 injuries right now, that's strength and conditioning. That dude needs to be fucking fired. 
uh, power over the last Yeah, the Tigers won in 35, 45, 68, and 84. Yeah, let's hope that they could use a little kickstart here, Johnny. The good thing is that, and I think most people would agree, that you don't let your defense suffer because you're that offense. Too, yeah, there are certain teams that just need to fire their strength and conditioning coaches. If you have a bunch of horribly well, lucky, un right? unlucky you injuries in baseball, um, you got to fire your strength and conditioning coach. He's so the first guy that's got to go. He's the reason then, for the failings. And Gardy said, I didn't want to have to move. Um, in my opinion, that's generally, your, that's going to be your main problem is strength and conditioning. 2-1 to, to Candelario. He said last year that might have been more of a distraction for Candy, but he settled into himself as a pro, has handled it nicely, and obviously you saw the footwork, the glove work that he's uh, demonstrated mm. there at first base. And, He'll be there for the foreseeable future. Yeah, that footwork. They also made it in 03, 04, 33, 34, 44, 2006. Yes, they did. Tigers have been in there a lot. You know. Ah, Candy flew out. To center. The shields takes care of it. Tigers need to use the gibbler. Yeah, we need to break out the gibbler. Out number one here in the Tigers second. Seems like huge breaks for the Tigers. Towards the future. Uh, Redmond Pirates game got postponed. Yeah, because uh, what is it? Is it just the one guy, 2K? Is it still just the one dude that has the, that had the COVID happen to him? Because if that's the case, then you guys will probably be playing tomorrow. I can't. So fucking bad right now. I'm going to have to figure out a camera situation after the stream. He has played. Oh, Stewart, Stewart just hit a home run. run sends it to deep nope, ranks. never mind. God Nick damn it. Just missed it. it away. It's a really good point, Gibby, because Detroit has had God damn it. their third base. I thought that was going. Was I thought that had enough carry, recently. but it fucking Remember, fell short. They drafted Nick Quintana. They drafted Andre Lipsius in the second and third round. Damn, round that fell short. That just, dude, Lipsius God damn it. A little bit more, con like... like Isaac Isak Paredes, Gage Workman out of Arizona State, who was Spencer. This is why it sucks not having Crone anymore. Third baseman for the Sun Devils. Because our lineup genuinely so does not have that same kind of oomph and power to it that it usually we're used to seeing it have. Castro, he's made a seamless transition. Yeah, just one Reds player. Yeah, so far it's just the one guy then. So it'll probably just well, stay limited one to that one guy. It sounds like that. the Cardinals organization and Tony La Russa, they played their guys everywhere, so they never were in a bind. They believed that they had the best mm. players. Castro's up, hitting 400 this year. And I think Basically just four for ten. Same. So. Will Castro can play just about anywhere in the field. Harold can for sure. You got Candy playing both sides. Nico, he can both. Uh, Grandma, so that sucks. That so is mediocre. Understand what's going on on any One, two. given play. So you make the right play. It's one and two to Castro. Oh, it's Gibbler. A uh, point because some would argue you'd like to have the one guy who is your for sure shortstop and just leave him there. For sure third baseman, leave him there. The one, two. Jammed to Shallow uh, Center. Ah, damn it. All right, well, that'll end the inning. We'll go to the top of the third. Ramirez, Lindor, Santana do up. Ramirez, Lindor, Santana do up for the Tribe. Until today, Reds was the only team to, have ga to not have games postponed for COVID-related issues. Well, now you have two. That sucks. Ugh. Standing up for a second because I need to fucking, I need to. Ah, there we go. When did you move when you were nine? That sucks. I moved once. Here we go. Oh, sorry about that. Leave there for a second. What is this shit? Oh, boy. So, yeah, I hope we can shut him down in the third here. And then 
do something on offense. I really don't want to lose 20 straight to the Indians. That would be just a very piss. That would be a bad week. That's a bad weekend. <laughs> But yeah, I can't. Uh, we're getting close. Join Major League Baseball. Oh, that sky does not look promising in Detroit right now. Thank you for the 15 likes, everybody. I appreciate that. We're doing pretty good so far. Go Tigers! Yeah, thanks, man. I appreciate it. We had Alvarez for two games before he gets written off uh, for right knee discomfort. Damn. <laughs> Throughout the weekend and especially today, with patches on the uniform. Michael Fulmer goes to work. And like I said, I'm still wondering why they um, don't have it as uh, Jose Ramirez, Francisco Lindor, and Carlos Santana. Still wondering why they're not wearing the uniforms, but the patches are fine. Tigers put the shift on against. That's Ramirez Jordan Alvarez, right, uh, Trey? That's out, what like Jordan. Fulmer, could you maybe see him go a little bit more? He said, no, nope. he's going to go three innings. Then it's going to be Tyler Alexander coming in. Alexander is coming in to, um, you know, to back up Fulmer. Or to kind of back end Fulmer on the start. Really shifting now. Get him way. Oh, they got a huge shift on for the fucking. Uh... Oh, thank you for following over on Twitch, uh, whoever did. I appreciate it. Or subscribing on YouTube, Fulmer whichever one it was. Ramirez on a fly ball to center his first time on. Yeah, I know. I was going to say, I think this is Ramirez. And he walks him to lead off the third. Nah, not a bad walk. Fuck that. The year, the, 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 the dude whose uh, first at bat of the season was a three run home run, the person whose offense led the offense to scoring 11 runs. And now a message that from DTE Energy. A lower energy bill and an efficient home are clicks oh. away. Go to DTE Damn, Daniel. <laughs> How annoying was that when that vine Michael came out, Fulmer Daniel? Michael his third start of the season. You're going to have to watch Ramirez over there. Ramirez actually in. How, how, bad, how often is that uh, annoying catchphrase good, uttered? Good pick right there. All right, so they got the leadoff guy on that first. No out. 1-0 Indians lead in the top of the third. They might review this. Lindor is up at bat. I don't know what's going on. Are the Tigers trying to argue they got him? Are they about to challenge for a pickoff? Nope. Nope. Bitch. Okay. Challenge it. Anyway, Ramirez was rated as one of the top two best runners in the league. Based upon Michael Michael Fulmer's really good at picking runners off. Doug, so annoying, but I just laughed it off. Yeah, that's. I liked Vine. Damn Twitter. Had two stolen bases yesterday. Yeah, Vine was great. Vine was great. That's why uh, TikTok took off the way it did. Tigers are at 500, so who can complain, right? My Reds are 450. Hey, you know. Hard to you guys will get better. Against. I, asked that of Ron Garden. I don't know what's wrong with your team. So on the base pass because they can be your bullpen so seems to be a play. hot asshole. And Garden Hire said, yeah, I mean... They, they hit from both sides. They got a shut down pitching. I bet staff. he had at least one social really media account like team. Damn Daniel 15. If my name was Daniel, I would have took all the advantage in the, the world game. of that, that vine. Get some going. You know, that would have been great. A good yuck. Oh, really? Frank okay. Jones Twitter out. A heck of a manager. He is. He's got a distinct system. Understands how to give his players freedom. And when to pull in the rain. See, what I don't understand is why so, why it took so long for TikTok to pop up. It's like, after Vine went away, the first thing I would have done if I understood coding was make a thing called Bine, B-I-N-E, and put it on the App Store. It would have been the same fucking thing. I'd have sold ads on it just like they did. I'd been like, well, it's free real estate. Welcome to capitalism, bitch. It would have been the same. I'd have copied the fucking code and just changed it to seven seconds. Was good with it. The they don't have the fucking thing for this seven seconds. And if right. that was took, it'd have been eight seconds. Castro will watch that uh, two run shot. Fuck. Here Second we go. Homer Time to pull Fulmer. For Indians. And for Francisco Lindor, he has busted out of his slump. He's two for two, including that two run shot to make a three nothing try. Yeah, see, I told you, Trey. Dusty Baker doesn't know how to fucking manage pitchers. 
He ruined Victor Zambrano. He ruined Mark Pryor. He ruined Kerry Wood. Uh, so, so, <laughs> uh, Zinni needs Tommy John. Right just rehab here. it. Let's look at the location. I'm going to bring it back. Oh, yeah, bullpen both like crazy Tigers were, uh, aren't a terrible team, but they could go spot. off 500. Tigers. Yeah, I think we're, I predicted about a 500 season for the Tigers. Yeah, yeah they got Dusty Baker got for the Astros. He can't manage pitchers, dude. Yeah. He ruined three of them. Here's 20. I know. It's fucking bad. And now Carlos Santana stands in. Hard hit ball his first time up to end the first. He drilled it right at Harold Castro. Michael's at 51 pitches. <sighs> don't let him go too much farther. Yeah, they got Dusty Baker in Houston hilariously. Not a bad coach, just a terrible manager of pitchers. He hates pitchers or something. To Santana. Looked like he was trying to come in there. Yeah, it's... Dude, this is bad. We just Once we get out of fucking play in this team, we'll, we'll win again. We just got to get the fuck away from Cleveland. I'll be right back. I got it. So now it's one and two on Santana. 152 games played in each of his last seasons for Carlos Santana. He's a very durable player. On the one two. Swing and a miss. Good off speed. Take a look at this ball was going down. He wants to get the target. I blame, I blame St. Ball. Louis for this fucking problem we're having. We were good until we played the car until the Cardinal situation. Well, okay, uh, pull former, don't put no they're gonna put in um Tyler Alexander to uh, back him up today. He's probably beat up by pitch. Yeah, he was. That's that's what Dusty Baker's is. You guys play us and again next weekend. I know. Here this weekend. We'll probably get Bieber Tigers. again too. No, he, he, Fulmer's, yeah, dude, he's throwing a lot of balls, Fulmer is. Fulmer's been in a lot of, like, high ball counts and stuff, like two twos, and it's not been an idea. He makes you pay, as he did earlier in this game. All right. It, it's two whole, Amir, we missed two to four games. This is the seventh career game Reyes has played against the Tigers, and he has four homers. Didn't we have a four-game series against you guys? We missed an entire week. Why do you keep trying to change the narrative, Amir? We were out from Monday to Friday. Nice play by Michael Fulmer to bounce off the mound and record out number two. It's a hundred percent. Why do you one day? What are you talking about? One day? We didn't play from Monday to Friday. Michael Plant right here watching. We didn't play from Monday to Friday, and we've been dog shit ever since that point. We've won two games in that time period. Good play, though. Yeah, no, yeah, we've won two fucking games since yeah. of that fucking thing yeah. against the Pirates. Is out. No, wait, hold on, we've won three. Sorry, I forgot we took one from the White Sox. Alexander, when we come back. Three two outs here Indians. in the bottom of the third, and the two Tigers are going to be third. pulling Fulmer. Here I'm comes Tyler Alexander. Three. Missing that week absolutely murked this team's momentum. Well, that was a while ago. I'm talking about, no, I'm talking this streak started. This has been essentially since that series because we only took two from the Pirates and then we took one from the White Sox and now we're about to get clean swept by the Indians. We were actually fucking doing good before that. <laughs> I blame the Cardinals for our slide lately. 100% St. Louis's fault. If we wouldn't have had a week off in the middle of our season, we'd still be good. It's like we were doing good, we get a week off, and then all of a sudden the real Tigers showed up. I don't understand what the fuck is going on. I'm angry, and I want to blame somebody. If, if your team would have been responsible, we wouldn't have been in this whole mess. <laughs> I mean, we were good, and then our momentum got completely shelved because we didn't play for a week. I mean, you're acting like momentum isn't a thing in sports. 
That's fine. Especially for a young team that's playing very, very uh, above its level. The fact that we've missed so many games is pretty detrimental to a young team trying to continue and maintain a momentum of success. Yeah, it's fair that we played weaker teams, but our team did not. Our teams look despondent against Let's these against these other teams at times. Pitch pitch I mean, we've looked completely terrible. The double in the first inning to like I I would get it if we would you know be losing like by one or two run, runs, but like we we're getting like one two hit maybe three hit from hitting the ball like twelve times a game. It's it's certain you know. With the Tigers, got him out on. We're kind of. It's just certain things you notice. It's like. And giving himself a little man. Are we that much worse? I elves. don't think so. Like, it's. <laughs> Lindor Tyler wears Alexander the stupidest faces. glasses I've ever seen. Tyler Naquin. It's a wall side but it's, it's the sharp drop off in production that's really more the Alexander alarming thing for me. And, as a reliever. and it's been he's sustained right since that point. That he's in right now a little bit more. Even the pitching's gotten worse. The 01. I'll call that ball one, it looks like. Oh, one, one. Okay, I guess he's pitched the ball already. It's half the Tigers, half Indians pitching, so no one's really scored on them this year. Don't take it personal. It's two and one to Naquin. What, James? I'm not sure what you mean there, James. Big shift on Naquin. The 2 1. Uh, Stewart on the run near the warning. All right, there we go. That'll end the third. They put up two more, make it 3 nothing. Hopefully, our offense decides to wake the fuck up and do something here. Griner, Jones, and Goodrum do up. Please wake up and start hitting the ball again. Like, even just getting base hits would be nice. I'm not even too concerned about the scoring. That, I think that just comes naturally. But um, the fact they've been getting, like, two, three hits a game again, it's like, oh, fucking here we go. Like, getting a miracle home run is not enough for me to be, like, comfortable with this team. Um, where did the hits go? What's up, Karam? Where did all of our hits go to? Might need to shake the lineup up a little bit. We could sweep the next series. Who do we play next series? Kansas City? Let me, let me check real quick. I hope it's not fucking... I hope it's something we can get reset again. Oh, no, we can't, dude. It's the White Sox. The White Sox play us really well for whatever reason. Fuck. And it's a four-game set against the White Sox. In Chicago, so it's 8 o'clock starts. Oh, that's... We can take one or two, maybe. Turnarounds come quick. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Um, and it just seems like we have a personal issue with the Indians. I don't know what this is. I don't know what's going on. Your Rangers been ba uh, been balling. That's good, man. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, I'm just I'm I'm actually kind of being silly when I when I blame the Cardinals, which I don't understand why Amir's taking it so personally. I'm not really being serious when I blame the Cardinals for the Tigers' failures. <laughs> it's just funny to do that, um, and it's just a convenient you know it's just a convenient scapegoat. I can always use that. I can just pretend like that's the reason we failed. It, it, dude, it could have been like it, if they, it could have happened to the Pirates and we could have missed a whole week because of the Pirates. And, and I'd be like, the reason we are no longer a good baseball team is because of the Pirates. So far, including those I'm going to, I am a blamer in baseball. Um, games of the 21 you know. <laughs> have been quality no, serious. It's just this team. It's exactly what Amir said. We ran into better teams. Yeah, of course. Uh, throwing the ball well. They've <laughs> executed well. And we're running into teams we just don't play well against. That's mainly our problem. We do not play well against the Indians and White Sox. Even when the Tigers are at their absolute best, we struggle with the White Sox. We can beat the Indians when we're good. Oh, Griner gets a hit. Hey, hey, Griner gets a bit of a break. 
Griner will dig for second. Yeah, the AOS is still a little bit of a question mark. The leadoff double. The the A's and the Astros are are pretty good. The Rangers are on the you know the Rangers are in between I think. Team on the rise. Mariners are question marks always. And the Angels, I don't know what the fuck's going on in that Los Angeles. The Angels should be way. That's not going to be ruled an error, is it? In center field, you don't want to do that because it goes all the way to the wall. He's so lucky that that was Grayson Griner batting because Grayson's kind of slow. Yeah, there we go. Lead off double. They ruled it a hit too. There we go. Hey, I'm glad. Sometimes they take those away from people. Both are doubles. Griner has two doubles this year. This guy's got an unreal OPS. Speaking of doubles. Every time Jones. this Grayson Griner guy hits the ball, it's an extra base hit. It's some crazy shit. Bottom of the third. What, zero out. Guy at second. Find a way to get Kobe Jones Kobe. up. Just get multiple runners on. Yeah. The Dodgers, yeah, they're not playing well Crazy either. Traffic out there. And 1-1. One, one. Kobe's kind of playing in his head. I don't know what's going on. 1-1. One one. You know what's crazy is Kobe. Jacoby Jones better on the balls does not look the like way. his name is Jacoby Jones, does it? It looks like Jacoby's look, he looks like his name is Kevin uh, Kevin Smith or some shit. It, he does not look like his name not would be Jacoby Jones. Report, uh, let's be very honest. When, when you hear the name Jacoby, you don't imagine uh, a, a, that, a really tall white guy. As well. Just get the shit out of line. this part. Yeah, I, I agree. 2-1. Loves the fastball. Time for stats with Lowe's. You just you just don't know you just don't Nobody picture Jacoby Jones, a blonde haired guy with green Jacoby eyes. Jones. What's up, Gold? An on base plus slugging against the fastball. Hang it. Yeah, the Jets signed Chris Hogan because they had a lot of they have a lot of weird injuries to the receiver spot. Right to third. Damn it. Ramirez was positioned. Ah, uh, right fucking look what I found. What are you gonna do, right? Yeah. Hit it hard. That's you got to push through. The third field, Cooley Law School bad. Stadium yeah, well, in Dow yeah, Diamond. That's what you're telling yourself. But it's His dad's name is Bubba do. Jones. Dude, that doesn't make any goddamn sense. Jacoby Jones does not make sense. Give me. Look at that. Plutko's 21. Yeah, they, I think they signed Hogan because they're having a wide receiver problem in New York. Somebody's hurt and might miss the start of the season, and uh, Mims didn't take the field today because of an injury problem. So there's, so there's problems. One out. Good room up. Well against Pletko, though. One and zero to good room. They're on base plus slugging. Is at eight ninety seven, which is the third highest in the majors. Turn that up just Started a little by bit. Coming out of the Cleveland bullpen. Yeah, Chris Hogan though. <laughs> He's not a bad option. The one zero to good room. Sam Darnold will use him well. For for a quarterback oh, like Sam right Darnold, that's way. actually not a bad receiver to get your hands on, in my that. opinion. Hey, thank you guys. Sixteen likes. We can get that Everyone to twenty if four more likes happen, and then then we hit our goal. Any teams? Uh, no. Monday, I think they can wear pads. Mike uh, Mike said it was Monday they wear pads, so tomorrow they start hitting. So I'm pretty I'm pretty fucking stoked about that. My league's baseball games when the Tigers are down. Here says 18. Oh, shit, it jumped up to 18. Seriously, Hell yeah, that's good. Pretty much there. We got the goal today. Thank you, everybody. I very much appreciate it. Right? Yep. All right. Hell yeah. We'll, we'll hit 20 by the end of this shit. It's only the third inning. 2-1 count to Goodrum. Hopefully, this is a very good pitch. There we the go. Hell yeah. Thank you, guys. Ah. Like hey, there's a couple Indians good. players Just hanging out. Uh, the Panthers front, signed right former there. Saints wide receiver Tommy Lee it. Lewis. What do you think of that move, Skip Bayless? Is it ass a nine, ass a ten, ass right? eleven? Have our own <laughs> keep that line moving, right? That's what you tell yourself. Pass it on. Especially since the Le uh, Loons made it go for Midwest. Yeah, that's awesome. I'm glad. To, I'm glad we hit that. Glad we hit the goal. Oh, Goodrum fouls it off. Goodrum's a 266. Dude, Goodrum has probably some of the longest at bat. Give me the last dozen. No, I can't tell that. That's anonymous. The the likes and dislikes on everything. Um, which is probably the correct way to do it. You don't need to 
if you could tell who's disliking your stuff, you could literally that could become very toxic. Um, that could be that could be very toxic. Create a lot of very very uh, hurt people's feelings. I think they'll do it again on two two. Mm -hmm. Three two. I'm taking there, not jumping at it. What the hell happened? Did he fall off the mound? I'm pretty sure Pluko just fell off the mound, you guys. That was hilarious. Very deliberate. Replay that pitch. Right there we go. Yeah, he fell off the mound. <laughs> Pluko fell off the mound. In my opinion, it was a solid. Oh, it was a solid move. Okay. Pluko just fell off the mound. Got stuck up there. Those bandwagons in South Bend uh, got the better of us, unfortunately. Especially when the Loons uh, made it to the Midwest League Eastern Conference Finals. Those bandwagons South Bend got the better. Oh, damn. Did we not win last year? I think that they should require you to watch a percentage of a video before being able to like it. I, I agree, Mike. I think you should have to watch 75 to 80% of a video to leave a like or a dislike on it. It makes sense that the more you see... There's been some toxicity with Detroit sports channels on YouTube. Board. That's why I don't I don't fuck with the sports YouTube and community in Detroit. I'm completely removed from that. I don't I do not fuck with that group of people at all. I don't like them. Eighth pitch of the at bat. This one rifled to left. There we go, base hit, baby. There we go. Goodrum will check into first with an RBI single. RBI single by Goodrum. Goodrum's been such a he's so good. So glad he's finally coming around. All the pitches, some pitches Jets, uh, Jets need to sign him because they're very pitches. thin at receiver, and I heard Mims is banged up, and I they're, they're another good receiver they have is banged up. Uh, good signing, good signing. I think Darnold could use Hogan quite well. Because, um, again, I'm very pro Sam Darnold, so um, that's a good receiver for him to get. Hey, listen, that looked like a Cleveland at bat. Yeah, got swept by the yeah, South Bend Cubs after we really broke the Lake County captain. Pitch at bat goes the uh, other way and delivers. That's not good. That's picture perfect. Yeah, Goodrum just beats up on the Indians. Where he's our only the he's our only Castle player that does that. His first time. Oh, sprays one to left center. That gonna find the gap. That's gonna find the gap. There we go. Oh, and the uh, fucking the left fielder falls. Santana fell down. Santana slipped. And Goodrum will hold up at third base, thanks to the uh -oh. double from Harold Castro. Santana slipped and fell down. I think Goody might have missed the base there. I'm pro Donald Con Hogan. Ah, uh, okay. Shutdown. Or should I say Luke G versus I? Get a run on this right here. Good job of getting it in. Look at DSA and ISN. Yeah, I don't even know who those people are. The, the, the DSA, ISN, I don't know. He's coming, he's I just, I, I just know that those people are always in, having problems, smartly. and it's like. Man, Detroit Spartans aren't even good enough to act like this. But that leaves it for Miggy. Big good situation the bag. from Miguel Oh, that's Cabrera. all right. We got everybody up there. Second and third. Looking Second and third. Hit in the series. Cabrera's up. And his team down two. Right back. Cabrera, bro. There we go. Cabrera, tie the game, baby. They're waving Harold Castro home. Come on, go, 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 go. Yeah. Clutch to tie it at three here in the third. Here we go. Infant Sports Network. Okay. Oh, the, okay. That sounds like a big problem. There we go, Miggy. Those are first pitches they're jumping on there. After there we go. That long at bat. Harold Cashel first pitch. Miggy first pitch. Yeah, you did. You said Pluto was going to be our best he chance to get this tigers. win was Plutko. Or Plutko. Plutko. I don't know how to fuck. That's a weird name. There we go. Said Miggy hit the ball hard last night. Didn't have any there we go, everybody. There we go. There's some life Good from this team there. finally. Jesus Christ. Quickly, Harold Castro. Five hits. That's Look at that. Five hits. That's what I wanted to see was the five. I told you the, 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 the runs come naturally with the hits. We needed hits. And now the hits are coming and we're scoring. It's it's it's, it's a crazy way baseball works. Uh, there we go, Miggy. Oh, yeah. I forgot. You're a Reds fan there, 2K. So you probably really don't like the uh, Cleveland teams. I can imagine Cincinnati and Cleveland teams do not like one another. It's like a, well, oh, fuck that city. 107 off the bat for Miggy. Miguel's, uh, hit Sol a that, that was a very good like piece that. of hitting. Found a hole today. That was very good hitting by Miggy to tie the game up at three. Yeah, I don't understand. Yeah, that was, yeah, literally, you can see it right here on the pitch thing right here. There's Miggy's pitch right down the middle. In the first. 
He's lucky it's not four to three right now, really. Miggy lost a little bit of power, so that uh, scope fouls it off. Tigers being very aggressive. Okay, but maybe they're seeing something from Adam Pletko. Yeah, he showed strikes. Well, the Indians kept the uh, first Ohio strike. Cup. Battle of Ohio, Battle yeah. of 17, Good adjustment. 170. Oh, I 70. Well, okay. It's a highway series. Okay. The 01. Scope this is this is it. like on site. Ah, oh, right. scope flew out. Cesar Hernandez out, and so is scope two away. Two down. Tigers have tied the game up here on a Miguel Cabrera single. That uh, you know, it's they manufactured in some runs. Like to see, you love to see it. What the hell? What the hell? What? What happened, Karam? Cleveland pin. Are the Rangers getting smoked up on? It's Phil Madden. Y'all guys don't play till 3 o'clock. What's going on? And here's Jamer Candelario. How you guys tied it up? Because yeah, we finally, uh, yeah, the Interstate 71 does connect Cleveland Cincinnati. Okay, that's what I thought, the I-71 series. We Big fight for the Ohio here. Cup, Jack so it. fuck Cleveland. Okay, I like that. I like uh, Interstate Sorry. rivalries. One and oh. Kevin was like, I was just about done with this fucking game. Well, hopefully it's a sign of things to come and the Indians don't turn around on us in the uh, fourth inning and beat the dog shit out of us. Candelario swings through it. Now one and one. Man, and we can actually hit like bullpens. So, like, if we can actually get at a bullpen, we can do this. little extra on it. Chicago-Detroit is one also. Yeah, the Chicago-Detroit has a very good rivalry history. He's hammering the ball down. I-94. Yes, sir. I, I love interstate. I love interstate rivalry series. Those are always real fun. Here's the 1-1. Took it for strike two. Come on, Candy. Hit this over the wall. Let's, let's see if we can actually get a weird lead on Cleveland. When he was struggling. Still had that smile on his face. Am I asking for too much right here? Am I asking for that. too much? It doesn't seem to let it get him down. Now he's coming out of it. Ball, 2-2. Two, two. He's also had a good eye at the plate, don't you think, Gibby? Mm -hmm. Yeah, some of these Tigers young hitters good have really yeah. good eyes, by the way. Good. Like, that's something I've been paying attention to personally. Career. Some of these guys take some really good pitches Everybody to take. To be um, more consistent. The 2-2. Two -two. Like Eastern versus Western. Yanked down the right field line. That's going to find a corner. There we go. That's going to get to the corner. That could score a run. Oh, it gets stuck under the wall. Cabrera's going. Chug a lug. Cabrera scores. Candy hits a triple and scores Cabrera. I don't fucking believe Cabrera just went first to home. Did Cabrera really just go to home? <laughs> No, fuck you. He's trying to cry. It was Got stuck under the under wall. It. Bullshit. Be he's trying to cry because he misplayed the ball. I no, I, it was that. stuck under the wall. Mickey, they weren't even sick of me. It didn't get Down stuck the under there. The no, no, it, it just stopped. That. It just stopped. It didn't get stuck. It just stopped you at the wall. That's a, that's the error. That's a fielding. Yeah, that's a fielding error Tigers, right there. And that's what Ron Gardenhire is pointing out right now. No the bullshit. That is not a double. The Chicago series with Kristen Stewart no. in left field. That's that's not that's playable. Agreed. That's that's a playable ball. He picked that it up. He didn't have to reach for anything. Gardenhire's gonna get thrown out if they don't reverse it. Yeah, Gardenhire's about to get tossed, dude. In there. That's bullshit. He, just because he didn't fucking play it well, they're going to make him stay at second. Wow. Wow. Because he misplayed the ball. He didn't even fuck up at all. Didn't raise his hands. He didn't even go like this, like it was stuck. That's on the fielder. That is on the fielder. That is on the fielder. He has to go like this and say that he can't get it if it's not gettable. I'm telling you, he's not going to stick around. I'd be challenging the shit out of that fucking that play. They just told him to shut up, look. Oh, now he's out. Oh, he's out. He just got ejected. You probably heard that. To get the fuck out of here. Yep, here we go. It's on. Make me you just heard too. somebody say get the fuck out of here, and I'm pretty sure that was Garden Hire. 
They muted that mic. They muted their mics real quick. Did you see that shit? <laughs> You're supposed to be able to hear this, by the way. <laughs> good, good play by Hernandez. You think he put his arm, uh, arms up? What a fucking bullshit call, dude. What a fucking bullshit call. I'd be challenging that. Stop it right here. The ball wasn't even stuck under the wall. That is such a bullshit call, dude. It hits the wall and stops, so they're trying to say it got stuck. Well, he's not putting his arms up because the ball the stuck. The outfielder needs to he put his arms up. His left shoulder. He's putting his arms up because he wants Naquin to know where he's at. He thought that is, was dude, no, challenge that. That needs to be challenged. There. Anyway, Ron Gardenhire gets thrown out. This that play needs to be challenged. Three to three. Dude, are you fu Dude, they're fucking us. No, it's 3-3. Three, three. They took the runaway. There's second and third. That was a completely playable baseball. What the fuck kind of call is that? Because it hit the wall and stopped moving? It hit the wall and stopped moving. That's playable. You got to go like this if you're a fucking outfielder. I've known that since I played outfield. Literally, if the ball gets stuck under the fence, the first thing you got to do is throw your arms up like, hey, I can't get this. I can't. The umpires are literally looking for you to be doing that, by the way. And when the ball gets down on the ground, they're looking for you to go like this because potentially it might be unplayable. And that's not very fair. That ball, he picked it up. He clean picked it up in about two seconds. He just, it just didn't bounce off the wall and traject. It just stopped at the base of the wall. That's not an unplayable baseball. Yeah, yeah. No, no. And anyone who understands baseball, they got to you got to fucking throw your arms up, dude. Like the outfielder is the reason regardless of even if it was unplayable, the outfielder didn't declare it unplayable. Like the umpire like what the umpire is just acting in the favor of the Indians for some reason. <laughs> just like randomly going, "Nah." Like that's some bullshit. That wasn't under the wall. Yeah, we literally just took the lead. Like, we just took the lead on this team. Yeah, you could still... The guy didn't even struggle to grab the ball. He didn't even have to reach. He picked it clean. Look high and wide. We're going to circle the umpire. First of all, he's going to be right here. Go ahead and let him go out. Keep your eye on him. Usually, they go out. We didn't get a better look, so... That's number one for me. He didn't go out. His hands are up right now. I'm not sure why. <laughs> After they fucked up. Lloyd McClendon assumes the managerial role now with Ron Gardner. Uh, please act in Cleveland. You're back soon. Pluto is in a good uh, Yeah, I agree. Well, they went with the pitching change. The Tiger, uh, the Tiger, uh, the Indians did. <laughs> Such fucking so bullshit, dude. Rather than a triple dude. for Candelario. It's a double. And rather Such than Cabrera bullshit, scoring, dude. he sits at third. And Such bullshit. Phil Matten is in. Oh, man. Need a big hit right here. It won't Garden Hire post game. Yeah, Garden Hire is going to be fucking fuming after Maybe this game. Stewart. Fucking remember Stewart? That happened Stewart, to Kristen Stewart in the White Sox game. Right the ball got stuck like that, and they they let the White Sox score like motherfuckers on us on a game. If I remember that correctly, that same shit happened in the White Sox series. On the rail to make it 0-2. Oh great! Now we're gonna get bullshit fucking calls the rest of the game too, because Gardy freaked the, the fuck out. Batter of the inning for the Tigers. Fuck! We're we're, it, it, we're these are stranded. These runs are gonna be stranded. Fuck, dude. Nope. To hold up. They're going to yeah. say he went. Oh, okay. Cool, 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 cool. One and two. <sighs> that sucks. That's a bad shit call. Dude, I hate bad calls. That makes you mad. That's a really bad call. One, two, foul away. I'd have got thrown out of the game if I was... Uh, if I was fucking Candelario, I'd have just got thrown out of the game. 
you know, I think if we went back, there was a play. We should have the lead right now, Packers Nation. We genuinely have the lead. We should. We should be up four to three. When they got. They well, then the Tigers go. pitchers better start throwing strikes. Yeah, yeah, I agree. We got a fucking. Now the one two. Ah. To left. Right to a guy. Tigers wow, it stays tied. Like they should have had more. You could make that case. Nico Goodwin with an RBI single. Harold Castro with ball, a double. Ball, ball hit the wall Cabrera and stopped, and they said it was a uh, it has it was unplayable because it stopped drain. next to the wall. It wasn't stuck there. The guy picked it up the second it stopped moving. Literally within a millisecond of the ball hitting the fence and stopping moving, the guy had it in his hand throwing it back in. That is such a bad fucking call. It's not even funny, dude. He literally got the ball in just as Cabrera was coming into home. He almost had Cabrera at the plate. Like, it's like you almost had a play at the plate and you're trying. Eh, fucking. Ugh. Oh, well, we tied it up. We tied it up. That's fine. We did tie it up. Um, you know, we got Alexander pitching the uh, fourth inning here. Do up for the Indians. <laughs> is Santana, Leon, and DeShields. Santana, Leon, and DeShields. Hopefully we can go one, two, three, because we kind of have a uh, a small, you know, lull in their lineup typically right here. Especially with Leon coming up. If you guys lost, they better protest the, the game thing. They, I mean, it'll be all right. They won't. What's up, Valix? Alexander's yeah I, I don't know what was up. I think Alexander got let his the nerves get the best of him in that start I think that's actually what happened to Tyler oh thank you guys I see 22 likes good looking out um yeah but at least we we showed some life here we're showing life we're showing life we're fighting back we're staying in the game um that's Garden Hire's 85th career ejection big ups for Gardy it's an old school art form to get tossed out of a baseball game. There are some guys who are pros at it, and Garden Hire is definitely one of them. Hey, I appreciate you, Valix. I can't wait to start actually watching everybody's basketball streams because I, oh, I only fuck with playoff basketball. Of course, the umps have been... Have to the Tigers just download yeah, exactly. Fox Sports. They have to suck the Indians dicks. And stream Tigers games live. Never miss another <sighs> Tigers game again with Fox Sports. Dude, I hope Go. Francona gets kicked out of the game or something. Tyler Alexander goes to work here in the fourth against the bottom third of the Cleveland. Oh, uh, here we go. Here comes the Domingo squeeze. And Santana, Sandy Leone. And you just like the umpires on YouTube? <laughs> I wish. Everybody's going to get fined. For no, the F-bombs, the swearing's okay. They're allowed to swear. And technically, this is cable, so they are allowed to swear on cable TV. Um, Fox Sports Detroit is, thankfully, it's not national, so. Or it's not, um, what's it called? Uh. It doesn't fall under strict FDA or FCC guidelines. Two. They could Tiger technically does. air a program on cable where they I, basically I just sit there and go and swear and do a whole bunch of shit really that play. skates by FCC that's guidelines because really I don't think cable TV that. has them. Go they just have uh, no, they don't have rules. They have guidelines. That's why later at night you see show like Adult Swim or like Cartoon yeah, Network um, or Adult uh, Comedy Central is a good example. After like two o'clock, they let they swear on the network. Yeah. Uh, um, which they're allowed to do it till about five. They actually used to do Girls Gone Wild, like porno advertising on Comedy Central uh, at nighttime for infomercials. It'd be from like two in the morning. You'd, every time you'd be watching like Chappelle's show at three in the morning and then a Girls Gone Wild commercial would come on. You'd be like, I got to change this. And my parents come in, I'm actually going to get in trouble. <laughs> In uh, which which was bad. That was that was a big problem with Comedy Central. I said I love I love so so. Out there. Maybe you gotta watch what you're technically, they can't get in trouble for like the word "fuck" being said on TV because it's cable. Kind of like um, like on CNN because that's cable. Uh, they can get. That's why they only have to say sorry for the swear words. Whereas ABC, they'll censor the shit out and stuff. Anything cable is pretty good. Two and two. The umps, uh, Tyler, they decided for whatever reason we'll that a ball that hits Ron the wall and stops said, moving is an unplayable baseball for the Indians. So they stopped the Tigers from scoring a run there and taking we'll the lead. Uh, the ball went and hit the fence and stopped moving, so, that, so they declared it unplayable. Even though the guy picked the baseball up within a second of it hitting the wall and threw it into first base. 
No, they declared that was unplayable. What happened in the series in Chicago? Tim Anderson was up. Remember? Oh, remember this? It went under the wall, and it literally got stuck. Stewart was able to pick it out and play it, and they called that a triple. Today, not too dissimilar, only in right. This one didn't even get stuck under the wall. The Tigers. Kind of get we hosed in ours this we got hosed. They guy got stuck at second. Forced to go back. Yep. Candelario to second. White Sox. To White Sox were given the go Chicago, on that. Anderson was granted third base. Ron Gardenhire's. Yeah, they gave Anderson third, ball. but they took yeah. the Tigers' runs away and stuck the us over at second. Fucking bullshit. It because it's a judgment call. Oh, it's judgment. You can't review judgment calls. God, dude. Oh my God, dude. It's the same thing with strikes and. It's the same thing that protects strikes and balls. And he's always watching over, but he's uh, reminding us that's a judgment call, not appealable. And even though he may have misjudged it, we got to live with it. It's one of the few things you can't Power review. And I know umpire. many have said, well, why can't you review it? If you're going to review it and you say that's they want to get it right, let's get it right. Review. Exactly right. But in his judgment, if he looked at that, he puts the umpire in a bad spot. No, the Ums don't get fined for you bad don't calls. Change it. You don't want to be wrong, Me too, Tyler. Me too. I hope we get a win. You, you we, we, right. They don't get fined for bad calls. Right they make them every so often. Wrong. I, I would say the Thank you for the good call there. That, Timmons didn't go out. that shouldn't Stay have been a judgment call, but how many bad judgments can you make look, before you get there? Shadows out there and stuff. He's, he's a good oh, no. Yeah, baseball keeps track of the bad calls. That goes on that guy's record. It's on his record now. Like, he gets a grade at the end of the year, and he probably doesn't get to do the playoffs now. Like, they'll look up, he'll be like, hey, can I get the, can I get to do the playoffs this year? Can I be on a playoff crew? And they'll be like, hey, dude, you remember that call you missed, you made in Detroit? No. <laughs> and that's it. That's, that's how bad, that's how big playoffs are. Uh, Jim Joyce, I don't think he's ever gotten to do the playoffs for blowing that perfect game. I don't think, unless it's been recent with Joyce getting to do playoffs. Two outs here in the top of the fourth. Leon flies out with no threat. The shield's up now for the Indians. All the way. Me too. Me too, uh, Valix. I hope so. I hope so. But yeah, eventually umpires can. They do have scores just like referees and stuff. Um, it's the same kind of system that the NFL does. They keep track of your, your fuck-ups. Oh, yeah, the league got you. The league got you now, motherfuckers. You remember when they changed the rule about blocking the play, right? Yeah. They said one and oh. Oh, oh, they actually called that a strike. I thought they were about to squeeze us on. Uh, to be honest, because Guardy got ejected and he started screaming, I thought they were about to really fuck him. Wrong both ways. Colorado game was against the Indians. They definitely have a history of getting hosed. Yeah, we do. So it doesn't happen again. On the charge, Goodrum. A one, two, three for Tyler Alexander. No, they have. They. Three as we head to the bottom half. The NFL, they have a system where they keep track of blown calls. That'll end the uh, bottom of the fourth. Uh, I missed to see who was up in that brief moment. They flashed the names. It was like two seconds they flashed it. Uh, Castro, Griner, Jones. Caster, Griner, uh, Castro, Griner, Jones do up. But yeah, no, the NFL does keep track of bad calls. But like they, I don't think they ever really fire guys for it. It's just something they keep track of for playoff performances. Uh, the Galarraga call is arguably the worst call in sports history. Um, there are no perfect games. There are only like 30 perfect games in baseball's history. And Galarraga had one of them removed, like because of a bad call. I, I never have understood why he just doesn't go out. Not one Indians, not one player on the other team would have been like, no, I was safe. They'd have been like, Hey man, good shit. You just threw a perfect game. That's fucking crazy. It, no, it, to me, it's the worst blown call in sports history. You know, J uh, Jacoby Jones kind of looks like Derek Jeter. He does sort of. He does kind of have that Jeter chin line. Twins would be one and six against the Royals if they... Good. Fuck the Royals. Or fuck the Twins. Galarraga had the most Ks. Oh, for his uh, perfect game. Dude, that was so sad that they fucking refs blew that... That Jim Joyce blew that fucking perfect game for that guy. And he even knew he blew it. It's like, dude, just... Why didn't the home plate umpire overturn that? As the home plate umpire, like, as the home plate umpire, you have the authority to overturn that call. He could have just went, no, he's out. Like, dude, you're out. He's out. That's it. But to be fair, that's what got us replay. Like, that's literally what got baseball replay. So. 
As an Indians fan, I'm even salty about it. The Tigers were be, uh, beating us a bunch of anyway. Those days, might as well get a perfect game while you're there. Uh, Angel Hernandez gets to do playoffs games, which really... Yeah, I don't understand why Hernandez gets to do play that umpire. That's really confusing. Uh, normally, they don't let the guys who make shit calls like that get into the playoffs. What's up, baseball kid? Yeah, he had, he's, he had a 28-out perfect game, which is crazy to think about. It's the only unofficial official uh, perfect game that baseball has. Over the 150 years of Major League Baseball and over 218,000 games Keats. played, there have been 28 three official perfect right games by the current uh, definition. No pitcher has ever thrown more than one. Good exactly. Sunday here. Tigers have tied it up. Yeah, we tied it up, boy. Three. We're even at three, and Willie Castro. Castro fouled. Really deep right, but That's foul. a good shot, but it was fouled. Well, yeah, we should have the lead. It should be four to three, but, uh, you know, shit happens, and we got kind of hosed. That's okay. We can get the lead. It's still the fourth inning, guys. We got this. Career ejection by Ron Gardenhire. <laughs> He's got a has, few. <laughs> has left Lloyd McClendon in charge. <laughs> Lloyd's got a few games under his belt as well. That would mean, uh, Gibby, he is only, let's see, two away from passing Tony La Russa and Frankie Frisch for fifth all time. Oh, look out. Nope. Bat just disappeared. Bat goes sailing on top of the Cleveland dugout. Terry <laughs> Francona has been ejected only once in the last four seasons. Yeah, Fra what, what happened? What ha what's been going on with Francona? He seems like he lost all his fire. I know he's been sick and everything. Top hand heavy there. Huh? I think, right? He's He's been sick. Yeah. Because it know, seems like Terry just know, lost the fire when he went to Cleveland or something. Happened. Great manager. He'd never take that yeah. away from him. I like the tar. The stick I found, you know, like it can break loose. So you used, you used a pine. He just got a new bat. <laughs> rosin. And rosin. You get it just right. So the sure you don't want your old too. bat? Yeah. Are, are baseball players a lot like Franco hockey players? Say, in that sense, hockey players are always team, messing with, with their with sticks. The team now. I'm good. That's good to hear. I know he got sick a couple years ago. Terry did. And uh, yeah, it's like a much. weird autoimmune yeah, disorder just, or some all, weird up, shit like that. He's, he's dealing with something weird. And, and it's kind of surprising he, did, he elected to come back this three, year. I'm kind of worried about him. Maybe five tops would be gamers. 2-2. Two, two. You know, they have the right balance. You look at the grains. Castro having a yeah. pretty good little at-bat here. These guys use a lot of hard... Willie hard Castro strikes me as a guy who could be really good in this league at one point. He's very young, though. Uh... Not as he had hard heart surgery too. It goes down, and you could raise the grooves, the grains on that. that I'm glad he's uh, back. I'm glad he's back and able to manage and stuff. Pretty good. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Right over here. 150 now, man. It's crazy. Running away. Popovich might retire like, soon. Yeah, and then Tim Duncan takes over, which is crazy. Here today, and now it's Grayson Griner. He really isn't it wild that Tim Duncan literally seems like he's going to be Golden the next coach scored. of the Spurs once uh, Greg the end of the retires, the second. and Griner's going to weekly ground out. Two outs. Hey, he hustled. I like the fact that Griner hustled that one out. Now a message you know. from your Southeast Michigan Ford dealers. Check out the 2020 Ford F-150. Now at your you guys Southeast traded Michigan us uh, Leonis Martin. Oh, yeah, bro. Uh, dude, Leonis Martin, that was fucking... I feel bad about that one. Normally, I don't mind hosing p people for prospects. But, like, didn't he almost Jacoby die Jones. or some shit, Two Leonis Martin? Like, he was good for us, and then we traded him out, and then he, like, almost died in Cleveland. Rope to Jose Ramirez at third his first time. Jacoby up. Man, we need this win. Yes, we do. Sure yes, we did. A couple days ago yes, we do. Jacoby, how uh, with the Spurs playoff streak over in his age, it's coming real soon. Yeah, I would agree. I would agree. It's about time to let Timmy ends. D be the coach of the team bank. anyway. Jones Bobby Cox had 161 ejections. I know that. I know Jim Leland had a fuckload of ejections on his own right. Um, I remember Leonis Martin almost died a couple years ago of a bacterial. Yeah, that was on you guys' team, if I'm not mistaken. He got, like, deathly sick as soon as he showed up in Cleveland or something. It's like we gave you guys a Trojan horse. Here you go. Thanks for that prospects. What pitch would you be looking for right now? Where on the plate? All right, here we go. Jones is up 2-1 the count. They're not pitching public anything public to Jacoby right We're now, it looks like. One, you know, yeah, dude, they're, they're throwing away. They're not pitching anything to Jacoby. Oh, hi. Well, you 
like it because if you look at his strike, if this is Jacoby Jones' hot zone, yeah, I like it lower. just throw it right here. Just Six throw it right. Three one count. Right like here. Just throw it anywhere in this zone. Ooh, oh, hit. hit him. Now ah, that got away. That just got away from him, huh? Man, Jacoby got up pit. He looked pissed off, dude. If he if he didn't look like if the pitcher didn't look like he felt bad, I think Jacoby might have fucking charged the mound right there. You could tell it crossed his mind because he said, "Son of a fucking bitch." Look at him, dude. Look at this for a second. Look at the way he reacted. Jacoby thought about going after the fucking pitcher. Yeah, good time to steal a base because if you throw if that pitcher would have been like like hard facing him or something. Yeah, I, I, I just don't want to. <laughs> that could have been a fight. Like Jacoby to, said he got he gets really it. mad when he gets hit by the pitch, and he almost charged when he got hit in the head the other day. Right the Remember when he got hit in the head against Kansas City? He said he almost charged the mound when he got up. That's why he got up looking like the way he did. He's like, I almost charged the fucking mound and killed the pitcher. Leland had seventy three. Leland had most TV stations wanted him. Uh, yeah, for Jim Leland, most TV stations wanted fans because he would hit the, uh, would let the umps have it. Yeah, he did. Leland would fucking unload on umpires. Loved it. Doesn't look like Jacoby's going right now. Sometimes yeah, it looks like he's staying put. As you go over there and stand like you're relaxed. You get hit in the leg, you got a limp down there. Make it look like your leg's too sore to go. What is Jacoby doing? Normally he's running. He should be going. Goodrum's up. What's up, uh, floor critic? The floor critic? Uh oh. Remember the Cubs? Uh, Dave Clark is twirling that stopwatch. Remember stop watch. the Cubs fest Victor, Victor had with the, the A's? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> Baseball players have really bad uh, tempers, I've noticed. A lot of pitchers. This is a sport full of guys right with the now, shortest fuses on the set. whole planet. Charlie Manuel really and Lou were always good for getting up in the like, face. Oh, yeah, I was going to say Lou yeah, Pinella yeah, was yeah, really good for ejections. Lou Pinella was an, had a, it was an art form for him. Good room went too far. One okay, two. one and two. Go All Tigers. Yes, yeah, sir. Yes, sir. The hat critic. And a fly ball to center. We got the floor critic, the hat critic. It's 10 RBIs for Goodrum in his last 13 games played against Cleveland. And he's doing a nice we got job shirt critic, we got sports deep. critic, we got movie critic, we got all the critics around here. We we got a uh, we got wall critic. I'm out of things that are critical. Uh, you can be critical turn, of. We got the car critic. Not that quick of a throw. So you get a little extra. I think so too. I think baseball needs to just say fuck the mainstream and do what hockey did and just focus on making it better for the people who already like the game. Like I'm like baseball. Why do you keep trying to stays and good room appeal to people who don't like the game? Fuck them people. Just We're appeal to the people three. who like it. Let us fight and shit. Top of the order Tyler good room better get a hit here. He struck out finally. They finally struck him out. The toilet paper critic. Damn it! I, damn the TP critic. <laughs> yeah, fuck you, bitch. Was clear, heard clear as day on national TV. Yeah, yeah, I love it. I love that shit. Ba again, baseball players have tempers that are about this big. You can really piss pro baseball players off with not much work. He stands up for his players. Yeah, I, I like that too. That's what I hated about Brad Asmus. Asmist. He just would be like, okay, that's fair, Mr. Umpire. All right. Thank you for fucking us. I'm Brad Asmus. Next time, no lube. All right, let's go to the bottom of the top of the fifth. Hernandez, Ramirez, Lindor do up for the tribe. Um, Hernandez, Ramirez, Lindor. Yeah, it's a set of Tiger Killers. That's always fun. Osmus, bad call. Oh, that's okay. The Lamp Critic? I don't know. Amir's, uh, I think Amir's live right now because the uh, cards are playing the Wyatt Salks. Is there it's commercial break. I apologize for the uh, lull in the action, if you will.
Oh, I just uh, that's see the, the see that Nike commercial playing. I don't like that commercial. I don't think it's done too well. You give them motocross pads. I'm telling you, give them motocross pads and let them go at it. That would make baseball, dude. They could do a lot to make baseball really cool if they just did what hockey did and said fuck the mainstream, the roller coaster critic. Oh shit, my favorite amusement park. I don't like them. I don't fuck with uh, roller coasters and shit. To me, that's just how, like, oh, you want to die, huh? That's this how you die, is roller coasters and, and amusement park rides. By I am not Jim lucky Owens, enough to ever ride an amusement park ride. I will die immediately. Stars. That will be how Michael I die if I ever get on one. Your place Fuck that. Fuck fa fairs and carnivals. I look at the rides. I'm like, oh, that's really nice. I'll never, I'll never go on a roller coaster. I'm so afraid of those things, dude. So irrationally afraid of amusement park rides. I don't fuck with any of them. I, I think they're all death traps made by a bunch of crack smoking carnies that make two dollars an hour. No, thank you. My life is not in your hands, Mr. Crack Cesar Smoking Carney. Is leading off the Cleveland fifth against Tyler Alexander, and then it'll be Jose Ramirez. We're not playing these games. Francisco Lindor. Cleveland's I'll ride the bumper cars have come on a couple of home runs, a and a Ferris wheel. From I've done the Ferris wheel bomb. before, and trust Francisco me, I had a panic Lindor. attack on a Ferris wheel. I can, I can do merry-go-rounds and bumper cars. On five hits and left a couple in scoring I rode the, uh, the Sheikah at Bush the Gardens in Tampa and about had a stroke. Yeah, dude, fuck that. Why would you do that? It wasn't stuck. I mean, it appeared to you be. You could buy a good room jersey for ten. The jersey critic. Of the empire. Is it one? Is it a good jersey, or is it you know? You should let teams challenge any play and balls and strikes. They're so worried about making the game shorter. Yeah, exactly. And it's going to kill the game if they tr focus on making the game shorter, because. I don't think people are going to watch baseball if it's suddenly a shorter game. I don't think that's going to be all of a sudden draw in a new crowd. And even if it draws in a Hernandez new temporary crowd, what that could do is Tyler alienate um, you. Fr like It could alienate the people who like the game the way it is now. You're built in your hardcore fans. You don't want to alienate them for a temporary fan base that will abandon the game after they get bored with it in two years again when you have to make more changes. Do not become now like the, the NBA off, and the NHL. Third. And those the or the end. NBA and the, ML, uh, the uh, NFL in those regards, lots of changes. The there we go. Right to third, wow. and makes a heck of a pick but on a backhand. It, it's to get out number you don't want to alienate your core fans at the cost of building a temporary fan Castro base that's going to ditch the sport in a couple years right anyway when they're bored again. Taking over for Nico Goodrum and Victor Reyes. He's got it. Uh, Ron Gardner hired at the clubhouse who is crying because he got ejected. Damn. Roller coasters do nothing for me. Same here, man. I, I wouldn't trust it. I wouldn't even trust little kid roller coasters that just go around in a circle like this. You know. The clown critic. Goodrum with some Where's the Nuzdar critic? Tightness in his upper back. Who's your favorite clown, clown critic? One out here in the top of the fifth. 0-1 count to uh, Ramirez. 0-2. Very good pitch by Alexander. 0-2 oh, to Jose Ramirez. Who's been killing the Tigers this series. Jose has been. Please update. Things, yeah, what is this? Was the right -hander started. Alexander's the lefty, so they want to switch everybody around, especially all the switch hitters. Oh, okay, cool. First five guys. Four guys in the order. It is five guys. The switch hitters. Uh, I mean, Cleveland. shit, I have watched six-hour games, but uh, best games... And I have had f and fun I've had. Yeah, no, I like long baseball games. They're funner. Now the there one is this two. one uh, ride that you it's can uh, that you sit in and it spins you horizontally. You, you personally action. Why would why what? Open. Stir them up. Dominic Leon. You sell lizards for fifty dollars. The up. lizard critic. Hell yeah. After I plummeted two hundred feet on that roller coaster, I was done. Yeah, I don't understand why anyone does that. That sounds dangerous. But there is one ride that Ramirez you can sit in. And scored his last time up. As it spins you horizontally, it, wide, two and two. it goes like this. Oh, why would it do that? Just watch why would you get in that? That's going to hurt you. That sounds like the bat cracker. He must have incredible recognition skills. He moves early. He looks like he sees everything. White people really are just looking for ways to die with roller coasters. I think that's all it is. I think you only see like amusement parks in countries that have no real actual problems except like some poor people. 
and uh, that's it. That's you get roller, you get amusement parks out of places like America. Not like that's much stays back. Uh, I don't understand. I can't even imagine three, two pitch. that shit. And Ramirez turns on one and sends it to That's deep gone. Left. Stewart just watches it. Stewart go. didn't even move. Third homer of the day for the tribe, and they're back in front four three. Nuz is a Tigers fan. Oh shit. <laughs> God damn it. Four to three. Well, it should be four to four, but whatever. He's just really Ramirez strikes back. again. He loves to get those arms out. It's out over the plate. The wild cat at Michigan Adventures. They wouldn't roll a coaster that scared me Jose too. Ramirez. It was too rickety. Yeah, it should be four to four. I agree. Everybody just froze. Wow, they have a lead, which they shouldn't have. 434 feet. This guy homered last time up as well. A two-run shot in the third. And the home runs for Cleveland today. Reyes has left the bat at 106 and a half miles. Shut point. up, Nosedar. Lindor's no. traveled 380. Stay in, feet. stay in, stay in. Looks like it's going to two away. All right. Candelario in foul territory. Uh, no one cares. By Nuzdar's request, we don't let fake accounts on here, Nuzdar. By your own request, we don't allow your trolling to go on for here. Him, that's for sure. The Indians pay the. Uh, remember the chick at the. Uh, yeah, with two away. Here's Carlos Santana. The, uh, what? Sea World that got ate by uh, the killer whale. No, I don't remember that. Pitches in there Detroit versus everybody. Exactly. Out swinging in the third. A one. And line to right his first time up. Just one, one, one hit in the series for Santana, and it was a double from last night. I was going to say, Santana's been fucking really quiet. The Tigers. More doubles against Detroit yeah, tore than any up. other team he's faced. Yeah. Little inside. That's why you shouldn't fuck with whales. Good pitch, good idea Those right are assholes there. too, by the way. You can see sea monsters the are the biggest shit. assholes Leave on the planet. The Don't even fuck with them. Legum. They they genuinely have been fucking with people since we were sea mo little, little sea monsters ourselves. God damn it, base hit. Because at one point we were uh, terrifying sea monsters. Um, we got out of the water though because of the sharks and the whales though. Because we were like, fuck them assholes. We then dolphins the formed from us. Homer. To lead off the I'm pretty second. sure, anyway. That He'll seems correct. Stand in and face Tyler Alexander. It's time at one point, we were all just like weird Google cells in hot parts of the ocean. Of and then, you know. Quickly it goes. You hear the noise, too. You knew that. Worst call I've ever seen is a college football. It was a 2015 Michigan State Nebraska game. Yes, finally, Santana gets a base hit. He's on base. He singled. He snuck in. Damn, Nuzder snuck in. Kind of used to that. From Reyes. Last exactly. Year, it's not the fault of the his whale. Fifty-one percent hard hit rate was second best in the majors. The theory, my theory of evolution. I'm pretty sure the theory yeah, of evolution is that everything came from the water at some point. Some runs, some I'm just being pretty, pretty uh, general there, right there. I mean, Tyler works. Pretty sure we evolved from pretty single-celled organisms by hot vents in the uh, ocean there. But I mean, you, I mean, unless you're like a weirdo who thinks the Earth's only six thousand years old or something, I don't really know. And if you think that, you're pretty stupid. Uh, Cleveland now twelve and nine on the year. Detroit playing five. Just seems like I think life pretty much. I think they've proven that life kind of started by some hot vents in the ocean. After sweeping Pittsburgh, and, and you know, and complexity happens. Uh, it's by slow evolution. Division rivalries. Not a 1-1. High and tight. And the reason things change is because, you know, they start doing different things, do different that. adaptations to survive. Uh, you got to do it again, you're saying here, huh? Bit on the plate, just out of the plate, see if you can get him to swing at it. He goes deep. And uh, Michigan fans complain about the 2016 Michigan-Ohio uh, State. The two-overtime call was bad. The, two the Michigan State call in Nebraska. Hole. I agree. Short, Willie Castro makes a ah. nice play. Oh. Did they get him? Ah, uh, Scope couldn't dig it out. Safe.
Bang. Really, really likes that ball out over the plate. Good. Good try there. by Castro. Good field nice attempt there. Throw. Thought he had it, but it trickled out. <sighs> Would have been a hard play anyway. Two on, two out here. 4 3 the Indians lead Reyes. on the Ramirez home back run. Back to back singles here. Arcos equal Cream Wales are the only thing that hunts uh, here's Big Tyler Sharks. Naquin. Why the fucks? You must have something that hunts large sharks. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, there, well, there's no real reason for the alligator and crocodile to really evolve, is there? They're pretty goddamn efficient. Once you're done evolving, once you hit your peak form, you're pretty good. Gators and crocs just got a little smaller, I think. In terms of, you know, in terms of actual size, I think they're just a little smaller than what they used to be. Looking for one that's going to start more. But I think that's the same kind of evolution that lions have had. Is that they've. Um, I don't want that one They've gotten smaller, and that's that's about it for crocs and alligators. And even crocodiles, that's not even necessarily the case. Ground ball, sharply hit, Castro. That should end it there. But Cleveland gets one back. Ramirez. Oh, no, yeah, that's a base hit. It's a base hit. They, they, um, with baseball, if anything's considered extra effort, which is what Castro did, that's considered an extra effort play. They don't rule anything with those. Like, if you dive for a ball in the outfield and you miss it, Rarely are they going to ever rule that in error. Um, you know, it's that's considered an extra effort play, and they don't give errors on those. Which is fair. Which is fair, in my opinion. If you, if you're gonna make a ball, if you're making a play on a ball in the outfield, basically grass, and you're kind of scoping out wide for it, and you're falling off your back foot to make a throw. You know, a potential highlight real play. In the world, uh, Ophelians is a female that does the hunting. Oh, yeah, in the, in the world of female, yeah, lions, female lions do all the hunting. Male lions just chill out and perom, uh, roam the perimeter and make sure there aren't any motherfuckers in their territories, and then they eat. I hope we win. I hope we can do it. But the ball was stuck. Yeah, I know. Depending on the play, is if it is an error or not. Yeah, it's it's and that was an extra effort play by Castro. They'll never rule that an error. Because that should have just been a base hit. The fact that he gloved it is extra effort, you know. All right, it's a commercial break. I'll be right back. We're going to the bottom of the fifth. It looks like it'll be uh, Castro Scope and or Castro Cabrera Scope. Uh. Tigers baseball on Fox Sports Detroit is brought to you by Bell Tire, home of the lowest tire and, uh, price. Period. Bird world is the and a contact-free experience. Yeah. Oh, the birds. GMC. Yeah, that makes. Visit your local Metro Detroit Buick GMC dealer today for exceptional offers all month long. Well, how about this? As we celebrate Negro League's weekend, we saw the tiny Tigers that were renamed the Detroit Stars. They got a little workout in yesterday, got some new apparel, uh, part of the Police Athletic League. So, again, we, it's nice to see that obviously we're, we're commemorating everything here at the big league level, but nice to see the future generations uh, understanding it as well. Shep. Always good to see the kids out on the ball field too. And all right, oh, it's a beautiful thing. You see Nothing some guys. Better. You see some uh, some teams There's out there playing where you live. Don't you? People. Yeah, exactly. Well, I live right next to us, like a soccer field. Yeah, but you I mean, when I mean? you drive around a little bit. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah they're out there playing. Yeah, because cool. in the bird world, the females can't look attractive because they get raped yeah, all the time. That's the sad truth of the bird world. I want light. Give me some light. Michael Mowing Brantley got hurt. Oh, that's Mowing not good. With a backpack full of bricks is yeah, if you look it up, ducks are such giant rapists that <laughs> female ducks sure have like corkscrew vaginas. That's a real thing. Size. They've evolved like, exactly. like, like yeah, duck cunts got. Oh, what's up, oh, Killian? Duck, duck vaginas guy. are basically these like weird corkscrewed monster things because of the rapist male duck. 
ducks are also aggressive to the point where they kill one of their brothers or sisters so only like one duckling survives the most crazy motherfucking duckling the psychopathic uh, duckling survives ducks are psychopaths the entire species of ducks a bunch of psychos any wild duck you see is a guaranteed psychopath it'll murder you if it could this is a real thing by the way um, and, I, and I'm not joking. And if the if this the, the crazier, more aggressive duck chick doesn't kill the other duckling, the mother will come over and smash it to death. Now it's like a dude. It's very. I don't know if it's what species of ducks this is, but these ducks are rapists. They murder each other like crazy, and only like one of them survive. Like only one male gets to live in a litter of duck babies. We do share that in common. Whatever they call duck babies. I'll just. I'm the only guy. Look it up. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll do it in pregame. I don't know if it, I don't know what species of duck it is, but ducks do that. They ducks are aggressive motherfuckers. Especially the fact that uh, the duck rape. Duck rape is a real thing. If you don't believe me, look it up. You'll, you'll be like, why does he know this? Where did he learn this information? I know a lot about ducks. I don't trust birds. I don't like birds. They're dinosaurs in disguise. Don't fall for it. Wild pitch moves the runner to second. Here we go. We used to be on the road. You know, I had Look up sign. duck pussy evolution. We'll it's hilarious. They have a whole system designed Johnny to where you, you can't. So it's it's, it's, you know, it's you fucking. A, a ducks are hilarious monsters. They're the probably the most problematic that's, that's bird in good. history. I dig it. You, you, I miss those days. You notice he didn't ask either you nor I to be on his golf team. Cabrera get down. shot to center. That's going to drop. Harold Castro's going to try and score, hey. and he will. There we go, Cabrera hey! Cabrera does it again, he maybe? delivers again here in the fifth, and we're tied up again at four. Biggie's saying don't hit another one in the corner. Yeah, they will, yeah. They Lions will kill off the entire uh, spring the of babies. Put back on second, but Tigers take the lead. Oh, it's Baby Loons. Okay, uh, hold on, hold on. Which one is it? Nice stroke. Yep, deadlocked at four for Jonathan Scope. And the first two batters reach here in the fifth for Detroit. It might be chickens I'm thinking of. Scope a strikeout victim in the first, oh, and he popped I gotta, up last time. Up. Uh, because I play Breath of the Wild on this channel sometimes. I'm not sure why, Master. I'm sorry that that happened. Rear runs batted in. It's under the sports category. I don't have it uh, listed as gaming, do I? I could. I could have it listed as gaming. No, I don't. Not on this one. Scope swings and misses. Sorry, man. I apologize. In addition to that, he now has one thousand. YouTube really is uh, cross-sectioning this shit really crazy. Career RBIs as a tiger. <laughs> I don't even have a Breath of the Wild tag in this one. I made sure, like, I made sure to not include that. I, that's weird. You two, it must be because I play uh, Breath of the Wild on the channel. Better get one of those. Sneak it out there. Do you need, we need to get clearance on that. Mickey is, uh, is in 22nd place in the most RBIs of all time. Hey, there we go. Good for Mickey. What we can accomplish with your influence. Both four to four. Yeah. But they kill babies. Here's the one, two, yeah, yeah, they do. Dolphins are wild, too. Opposite Dolphins foul. are just as crazy. So some gumption by the Tigers after having the lead taken away or having the game at three delivered to Cleveland. It would have been 5-4, right? Well, with the Ramirez home run making it 4-3 now Detroit answers right back with back-to-back -back hits here to start the fifth let's break out and maybe they got a chance for a really big inning here outside Tigers scored three in the third now the one here in the fifth Oliver Perez trying to. I have to do some research. I'll find out what I'm talking about. They're Stewie. Yeah, there's a lot of crazy, crazy animals. I'll, I'll, I'll have the more correct information on tonight's stream. I apologize. I don't think it's the actual. I don't think it's the duck. I apologize. Two, two to scope. It might be another species of animal. By Leon. 
But I know about the rape thing is real. The rape thing with ducks is real. But I I gotta remember what fucking I group of animals here, do the most hardcore shit I've ever heard, where they strike, murder off their entire way. grouping of Pretty kids, and only one get to live. It's it's a very like aggressive animal group. He's worked it to three two. And I want to say yeah, it was ducks no, or a bird. The three two one. Your pitching no, again, sucks today. It's yeah, it's not exactly. It's not doing so good. It's easy to say Full so count good. now for scope. Candy right behind him. Can get a good jump. Come on now. Here's the payoff. And Lost in ball four. Walk. Two, walks Two on, series. no out. Good. good at bat by scope. <laughs> Two men be, aboard. That's going to be it. Oh, they're going to pull him. Tito came right out of the dugout. Yeah, there's. I know there's a shark group that kills in the womb. I know that one. That might be what I'm thinking of, actually. I might be getting it mixed up to where there's only one group. No outs, no outs, no outs. If I, I don't know if I if I said a couple out. I, I, no outs. Cabrera, a two-run single in the third, and then he delivered here in the fifth again. It's a good day for the number three hitter in a 4-4 ball game. There are animals that don't give a shit and will attack humans on site. Yeah, those animals all need to be murdered. Like, just get rid of all of them. Every single animal that's like that, just kill it. If it's not afraid of us, we should just kill it. By the way, I'm very anti-animal, if you haven't noticed. I don't like them. 99% of them will kill us if they have the opportunity to eat us. If they're hungry enough, they will murder us if they could. That's how animals work. Yeah, it's, I think it's tiger. You, you might be right, Mike. It might actually be sharks that do that, where there's a one baby shark that gets to live. And, and like, dude, what the fuck? Oh, man. Yeah, animals are food anyway. Even if you're a religious, I'm not a religious person. The way I look at it is not, literally every species that's almost ever existed has gone extinct, except the ones that we know of today. Like, we only know of what's alive today. Like, there could, be, there, could, there could have been different animals a thousand. There was different animals thousands of years ago that we never know about. We just don't know that they existed. So I don't care about animals going extinct. It happens. It's a part of Earth. Everything that's ever existed will go extinct at one point. It'll stop it. Like, the, the species will go away. We don't even have that long of a, you know, we're good for now. Killed for now. You know, exactly. Who's got, you know, we're stopping, we're trying to prevent all these other animals from going extinct. Who is going to stop us from going extinct? No, nothing will. Everything else on earth wants us to die off. Except maybe dogs and kitty cats. Nothing will stop us from going extinct. I don't care about the, anything else going extinct. It's the Come natural back, course of summary. A lot of this is taking place here in the third, Gibby. There are very badass snakes in Israel, and I chopped, I killed run. thousands of them probably. I killed well, pregnant snakes before. Back is, uh, stuck and then I stabbed their eggs to death too. I've done Timmons, terrible things to snakes. I've gutted snakes open. I don't like that animal. Made the right call I am aggressive when I see a snake. I take right whatever call. weapon I carry, but, uh, and I fucking it stab its head off. And then I slice open its stomach, and I throw it against something. I do not like snakes. You know, it, 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 when people have them as pets, I'm like, you know, I'll kill that fucking thing in two seconds if it ever comes near me. This season for Cleveland. We probably kill ourselves in a hundred years if we didn't colonize space. Yeah, exactly. Well, we'll shit'll get really bad if we don't figure it out within a hundred years. I agree. If we don't start, if we don't have our minds focused on space, it'll it'll start to create problems here on the planet. Castro off the inning with his third hit of the day. Miguel Cabrera drove him home. Yeah, to snakes, spiders, and sharks are not okay. Yeah, no, dude. I, I lived in Israel, too. So it's like when I seen a snake, it probably could kill me. Like, it was going to. It was probably ready to attack and murder me. Base hit. There we go. There goes the lead. Maybe. Hold on. No, no. Bad idea. Bad idea. And he is out at home plate. They shouldn't have sent Cabrera. If he would have laid out slide, he wouldn't have got him. But he did. Ah, uh, they shouldn't have sent side. him, dude. He's done that a few times, and you know, he's just trying to score a run. He's really running good there. Almost. 
I mean, another option. Just got him. In the line right there. That's kind Tell of in the base. That's Santiago, kind of that's base path need. interference. Whatever. Cameron Maven will pinch hit for Chris. A little Stewart. bit of plate blocking going on there, which is against the rules now, but. Kristen, uh, Maven's on to pinch Tigers, hit. Uh, going with the lefty righty split. Tigers strategically built their advantage. stadium to get out. Yeah, it's, 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 it's built to hit triples. It's defense, basically a triple trap and a double trap. Well. Snakes don't eat children. Well, that's Stewie impossible. No, it's not, it's not a problem of snakes eating kids, it, especially in Israel. It's just they're super, they're super, super, super uh, venomous. He didn't like that. No, it's off the plate. Uh, I know my, I've seen, like, I know I it's watched it's one time uh, my dad got bit. And his arm swelled. His arm literally he got bit right here, and his arm swelled out like this. And it, right. like, dude, it was it, it swelled out. He had to go to the hospital. He almost had to get his arm chopped off. It was watch pretty fucking one. bad. So you know and that's why they gave, they go. taught me how yeah, to use. Uh, there aren't anacondas in Israel though. Be short. The one one grounded to second. Could fucking bullshit, dude. On the shuffle, Damn it. And it is. Indians get a double play to end the inning, but not before the Tigers. No, it's not it impossible, but it's pretty. It's pretty. Six. The whole world. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Anacondas. Um, I would argue the anacondas more dangerous because of size and the speed that they actually have. Whereas a viper, you could probably, you could probably manage a viper better than you could an anaconda. Like if you were to fight with the viper versus an anaconda, if you can get the if you can get the head of the motherfucking viper, you could probably win that fight. You know, it's probably a done, done fight. You could probably just grab it and bend its fucking neck across. The tiger scored. We scored. We scored. We, it's four to four. We scored. We scored. We tied it up. Yes, sir. We, we tied it up. Yeah, Cabrera, Cabrera ran through the stop sign. I have no idea what that was. Dude, that was so, that was so dumb by Miguel. I mean, in the end, it didn't matter because if they would have held him up, it looks like we would have grounded out anyway. Um, yeah, if you fight an anaconda, you're going to only be fighting it in the water. Uh, you're not going to run into it in the land. If you run into it on the land, you could probably get it. Yeah, but an anaconda, you're just not stronger. Yeah, you're just not going to be stronger than that snake. That's a giant fucking snake. That's the descendant of the Titanoboa, probably, is, is the anaconda. That's pro Whatever the Titanoboa would have been, its living relative is called the anaconda, probably. That or, or the boa constrictor. One of those two, probably. And that's what I... Dude, fuck that. I, don't, I do not like snakes, dude. What about a rattlesnake? I've dealt with rattlesnakes. I just leave those alone. Rattlesnakes are genuinely like if you don't go fuck with them, they don't go fuck with you. I've never been even, I've never even had to kill one of those. You just hear the rattle, you turn around and you go the other way and uh, you don't get attacked. Like, and generally you can see it sitting there. Like Second you see it move it and you're like, oh, choice. okay. It's time to turn around and go the it other way from this mean motherfucker. Um, and Maven pleading his case. I was talking to Dave Clark. I'm talking to my coach. And Rayburn thought it was directed at him, and then Maven went off. I think and that Maven puts got Detroit ejected. in a rather yep. precarious situation because Maven he was off. supposed to take over in right field and shift Victor Reyes to left for Kristen Stewart. Who in, Israeli, in Israel, one of our biggest, Instead, we have the Israeli mole Detroit viper. now has to go with Dawel Lugo at third. Harold Castro goes to right. Look up the Israeli mole the viper. Game. It's a black snake, and, and it's Reyes really long, and it's a motherfucking left. monster, dude. There's two big plays in this game: the interference by the wall, or whatever, and then uh, the, the Israeli play, mole viper. Cam Maven went into the game, and there you get the first out. Go ahead. We got defensive changes now. Let's check Very venomous. Covered him. He yep, made the ball go to the second There you see the uh, defensive changes made by Lloyd McClendon. Kind of, uh, but the Reds are playing. Oh, you got the Reds Ron game on. I'm sorry. Oh, you're in Kentucky, and my family's crazy about the Reds. I'm sorry, baseball kid. In the right field padding, and then Cameron Maben arguing a bowls and strikes. 
You don't need the ball go to After the grounding out into a double play. Yeah, exactly. I mean, there's such shit calls going on right now. I think well, Maven really, thought he might have been really safe what, on that. What happens? John Schreiber now in. He's yeah, I great. have. Yeah, yeah, dude, I can't deal with that. Bond. Keep it that way. I didn't know that the Rangers game started at 3.05. Oh, shit, yeah, you Lane guys started up. One to right. That's gone. That ball is out of here. Are you kidding me? Another home run. That's four of them for this team. First run allowed by John Schreiber this year. And it comes with one out here in the sixth. Sandy Leone's first homer of the season. And for Cleveland, their fourth homer of the afternoon. We can even go down and get this. And this team isn't even getting doing anything. They're just hitting solo shots. <laughs> God Goes damn it. Goes down and gets it. Way out front. Stays, doesn't cut it off. That is such a lucky home run. Oh, my God. The Tigers are down again. Here in the top of the six. On the ground, the shields. Will ah, nice bad bunt. They knew you were. Oh. They won't Griner, what the there. fuck was that? You think Martin's the worst defensive catcher in baseball? You think Mar you think Leona Leon is the worst the defensive next. catcher, really? <laughs> a bunt right in front of you and Martin he couldn't field it. Oh, it tripped? Oh, you fucking dumb bitch. Grayson not able to get the grip. Oh, I hate Grayson Griner so fucking much. You have no idea. Mm, man, he's so fucking terrible. Hernandez. He is we so fucking bad at this right game of bench. baseball. Correct. Just steal on him. He can. He can't throw it. Just go to second. Just give him the third. Actually, don't even try to pick him off. Just let him go to second. Just don't even throw it, because he's not going to make a good throw. It's gonna be. On, it's gonna be thrown into center field. I. Uh, I already know it. One and zero to Cesar Hernandez. Five nine zero for Cleveland. Four nine zero. For Detroit. The Indians got a solo homer from Fran Mill Reyes in the second. A two run homer from Francisco it will Lindor be in the third. That to an error, by the way, there, that will not be ruled a, a hit for very long. By the way, that's not a hit. Yard and a solo homer to give him that's five literally five an error. Hernandez turns on one. That ball's deep. And Castro leaps up. It's up against the wall. DeShields yeah. has got good speed. Hernandez right on his back. They're going to hold DeShields at third base. It's a one-out double. Everybody thought that was going over the Cesar fence, I think. Hernandez, his first hit of the day. Yeah, I thought it was gone, too. Jesus. Jesus has got that flight path off the bat right now. Tigers have been digging back. I never game. played Call of Duty, so I don't know. I don't care. Uh, it. Carol Castro with a good attempt. Well, if this dude is hitting home, this guy is home. Yeah, you guys should win if you guys got guys hitting home runs that don't hit them. Couldn't get to it. Second, third, one down. Now here comes Rick Anderson to talk. I, I don't think we're. I don't think we're allowed to beat Cleveland. You know, this is kind of things is kind of getting going right here. We've had oh, the, the play down skip, there, the skip. ejection. Cam gets. Ejected as well. We got one player in the on the bench left. So I, I like this little meeting. I think everybody's kind of like let's get refocused. It, we, literally, we got game. Austin Romine that can pinch hit stuff. Down and get back, get our uh, the most at bats name would be among qualified hey, hitters without a home run this season. Losing. Jesus, bring up Mize already. Yeah, exactly. Gibby, it's hard on a bullpen when they're throwing this much, isn't it? I mean, you, you're. You're hoping for a little bit of relief, but it seems like they're dipping in. Oh, the great. Game. Look who it is. Regular basis for long Jose stretches. Ramirez. They are, and, and we talked about earlier, this week, for Tyler Alexander to get deeper would allow yeah, the bullpen not to be right. used as much, but this might even, you could argue, be a little uh, early for Soto to come into the game. Don't matter. Bring you, him in. You really got to do it. This is, the, this is the game right now. And if... We could use a pop out. Ramirez we could use a quick fall, like just literally fall out. You, you might have to bring pop it up. In if he's, if he's foul loose. territory, like right by home plate. That swing and miss stuff in there. Infield is in and a line drive. Scope has only the one play. <sighs> kind of bounced off his glove and then was forced to make the play at first. 
as DeShields garbage plays Cleveland's fielding, dude. sixth run of the afternoon. Six four. I have no idea what Kevin and tried Boyd to McClendon say. And McClendon will go get John Schreier. And they're going to bring in Soto. And Gregory Soto will trot on to try and get the final out of the sixth. Cleveland has already scored two here in the inning, and they have a two-run lead in Detroit. <sighs> well, they're going to bring Soto in. Who's he facing? Lindor? Lindor and possibly Santana. Oof, Schreiber. Though. At least we at least we held it to a single run and then we got an out out of it because Ramirez has been killing us so that could have gone uh, a hell of a lot worse. Heard Russell Westbrook to miss games. So what's wrong with Russell? The commercial break now between the pitching change. They are bringing in Gregory Soto. Should be, it should be. It. What's uh, what happened to uh, West? What he hurt? Yeah, Soto's been real good. I I quite enjoy watching Soto pitch. So. The one year Thunder make it out of the first round. <laughs> Ooh, that's not good. He hurt. Yeah. Oh, he hurt the strained muscle. That's not good. Yeah, and the Rockets got to play uh, tomorrow to take on the Chicago White Sox. Join us. Rockets play the Thunder, don't they? When our coverage begins with Tigers live pregame right here on Fox Sports Detroit. Seven straight on the road for Detroit. It's our game summary: the Indians' offense. You see, five of the six runs thanks to the long ball. Miguel Cabrera, Cabrera with his first couple of hits in the series, and both Ron Gardenhire and Cameron Maben ejected in this one. Gregory Soto is on. He's All the fourth right, Tigers go. pitcher Soto of the on. day. Tenth game has not been scored upon yet. Everything looks good. 14 strikeouts, two walks. You say this guy hasn't had a blemish yet, so uh, hopefully Brian everything stays good. Earlier than they want, but this is the game right now. They got to keep it six four. Here in the top of six, they they got to stop any more runs scoring. Faces Francisco Jeez, Lindor. Ninety. Man, it's second. I don't think Lindor was ready for that. Lindor looked like holy shit. What the fuck? Lindor has awoke in this game after yeah, going. Just Lindor's had a pretty good little run. Doubled in the first, did a two-run homer. Yeah, Lindor's first. wearing hilarious. L Lindor looks hilarious this first series. I don't. I think I've been the only one to one notice it till just time. now, but the Lindor's Lindor been wearing the hilarious versus. sunglasses this whole this whole Fourth series. <laughs> On hitting left-handed, both of his hits today are down and in. The Tigers have turned him around here. I wonder, uh, you know, right Lindor's hair and his glasses and the scarves and the playing with his nails, it makes you think is Lindor, you know. Bends him out of the way. Even despite Westbrook's injury, I still got the Rockets in five over the Thunder. Yeah, same here. I think Lindor the Rockets are just a better team. against lefties. Or the Rockets, rather. Rockets are. I hope I said Rockets, not Thunder. Again, my basketball knowledge is pretty uh, limited to what I see immediately going on. From the right side. Here's the 2-1. Another one in tight. 3-1. Not a good pitch. He's thrown five, four fastballs in this at, in this at bat, though. Sun's peeking out in Detroit right now. We could, we could. We've been pretty uh, fight backy in this whole game, so we could come back. 
3-1 foul. We've struggled with this team, though, so I'm not too sure. Pitch. Not too sure. 97.7 average two-seamer. That's the fastest among left-handed pitchers in the league. He uh, throws a 98-mile-an-hour two-seam fastball. Three. Jesus Christ. You turned off the game. Really 99 degrees. Yeah. Ago. Would you think he'd throw it here? Yeah, he's he got that. I mean, he's got to throw it. No, yeah, no. So doesn't have a leg kick. What's that? What he uh, the payoff. Thank you for following on Twitch. I appreciate it, man. Good looking out. That's fuck. I'll run his home. Well, that's seven to four. Second with his second double of the day, and the Indians now lead it seven to four. Gotta give him credit. Not looking good, folks. It's starting to get to that uh, ugly stage of a Tigers game. How many in a row is that? Down and in, he just goes down. He's got a. Quick I just saw bat. Soto throw without kicking his leg. Of he was uh, struggling his... earlier in the season, but not. In this series, pretty good display in this inning alone, and what makes Cleveland so challenging. Got a homer from Leon, the bottom of the order, his first in over a year. DeShields bunted his way on, and then you've got a couple of doubles as well. All right, Detroit, kind of stop the bleeding now. <laughs> He's one for three. First pitch swinging on the short hop for Dowell Lugo. Nice play. There we go. That'll end three. finally. They lead it by three. Is Seven to three. Lead. Seven oh, to four, rather. Six. Bad thing about Twitch is that you can't optimize minimize the app on mobile. Yeah, that's the real problem. Is so like if you're trying to watch a stream like on YouTube and you want to do something else on your phone, you know, you just kind of, YouTube goes picture in picture or whatever, and you can just do other shit. I hate that. That Twitch needs to add that. And I hate that YouTube is such a motherfucker. They leave the premium option that you can shut your phone well, without leaving the app open. You could be like, YouTube's still playing, even though my phone screen's off. Um, which that, I think that's bullshit. They leave that for premium. Like, oh, that's kind of a shit feature to leave for, you know, the people who pay for it. That's actually a really wanted feature. See, I know they can do that. I always figured. Well, for the Tigers, let's see who they got up. Um, Castro, Griner, and Jones do up. Castro, Griner, and Jones. I always Castro and Griner are uh, like a weird combo of names to say after each other. Hold on a second. Oh, okay. Let's hope the Tigers offense can come alive here anyway. in the sixth. They've banged out nine hits. I got YouTube so premium for free for you when I bought my S10. That's a pretty good deal. Starter after two and oh, two yeah. thirds. But each That'll time be one. Detroit has crawled back into it, Cleveland has pushed right back. Here's Cam Hill to work the try. That's good, man. Six. I'm glad you you enjoy the streams and everything. Terry Francona, he's moving the pitchers through the line, isn't he? Got Pluck called the starter out of there quickly. And he's uh, just continues to get a guy in. Anyway. Get through an inning and do it again. The Tigers have tried to take the lead. 
have tied it a couple times, but... Uh, oh, 2 now for Castro. Back. Hopefully he can... Uh, God damn it. Struck out. And he does... Well, folks. Castro quickly for out number one. Fuck. We saw Cam Hill in the series opener throw an inning. That looked impressive. In a Hill's on the mound for the uh, Indians, by the way. That's the other thing, and you bring a reliever in out of the pen. Twins got the lead back. Nobody Shit. Nobody had to start an inning. It's way better. At least the rest Both of the AL Central, Central can get behind well. hating Minnesota. I'm cool with that. Hard to get them not to score. Most of the stuff I, I watch on YouTube, I'm listening and not watching. Yeah, that's how I am, too. I treat 99% of what I watch on YouTube like a podcast. I just listen, and if it's live, I'll leave some comments while I'm watching. you got a guy on base, there's a greater chance. I'm not actually a big fan of commenting on live streams. More things have to happen. Guys I like to, to listen move, to them. Open holes up. Like right now, nobody on Cleveland's playing the best their position. The it's best they know how. The NBA playoffs. Right? Right? Yeah, good luck, man. You put. I need to get it all correct. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I hope you get it correct. I hope you're correct. Million that. bucks is a good amount of money. Tigers need a runner. Right <laughs> you probably don't have to work for the majority of your life if you don't want to have a wife and kids with a million bucks. You could just chill till like you're like 37 or some shit. Reiner doubled and scored in the third, and then give yourself fifty thousand dollars a year to live on. You're good two for a minute. Cam Hill swung out and missed. Two two. You live a long time on fifty grand a year, with a million bucks. You pay off your rent, live in a nice apartment. Hill that's twelve Friday grand. In the eighth inning, he well, that's on Michigan prices though for things. So you have to move to Michigan for that to work, but. Popped foul. Yeah, I'd like to be a millionaire too. I'd just be chilling hard as so shit all the time, living staff. on fifty grand a year. They all kind just of look alike. And, uh, they have a philosophy. They have everything I want. And one thing they do is they command their pitches. Chilling like a motherfucker. Straight I'd be I'd be out fishing well. a lot Here's probably. Two -two. Missed outside. Hill Three two. Had it there. So did Sandy Leon. Oh, that'd be 2-2, two -two actually. Okay. Billionaire. Yeah, I'd be a chillionaire. A big chillionaire. You go he buy yourself a boat. He lifts it to right I wouldn't want a boat. I'd just, I'd just get a nice seat. dock spot. Takes care get, of me, it, uh, get me a nice little like rowboat or something. I'm chilling this out at the lake. The Tigers honor the 100th anniversary We're on the, the Mediterranean Sea. Cast the line in. Ba Boom. Teasley, who played the infield and the outfield I'd have a cheap boat. Cubs and New York Cubans. In 1948, Teasley was one of the first African Americans to sign with the Brooklyn Dodgers. Thank you, Ron Teasley. We celebrate your place in baseball history. Goddamn Cleveland. Yeah, exactly. I'd just buy a nice boat, man. I, I wouldn't want a yacht. It'd be nice to get one, but like I wouldn't want to buy one. Laugh at all the chumps. Nice having right to go there. to work all the time. Ah, 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 ah. Looks you like Colby uh, Allard like as a, as a pitcher? Right Is he the uh, Rangers starter for today? Drops. Two outs here in the bottom of the six for the Tigers in a 7-4 to four game in which they trail. So Indians lead 7-4. to four. Two outs. 0-1 oh, one, oh, one, one to Jacoby now. Right there. Tigers need a runner. You know, can he Have a slip in Grand out? Haven. Oh, that's pretty nice. Any way you can do it. Yeah, I'd, I'd definitely get my hands on a Tesla. The, a, a Tesla car. That'd be pretty Brady's dope. are batting just one for 14 against Hill this year. Broken back grounder. Lindor off balance. Doesn't and that'll end Tigers the inning. Son of a bitch. Two, three for the second time. This Chris says, come on, Tigers. Yeah, I know. Come on now. Yeah, yeah. No, exactly. The Tesla would be, my, would be probably my nicest and only big purchase. And I'd pay off rent or buy a place to live in for a while. Yeah, the Tesla would be awesome. You like Jaguars? Yeah, those are nice cars. I have a 14 and a half foot with a six horse and a trailing motor. It floats and I have fun. Yeah, that sounds like a nice little boat. I don't think I'll ever make enough money to want to have a boat in my life. 
Tesla in 10 years. But yeah, when the self-driving is better, that's definitely going to make them cars awesome to own. Because I, because for me, as someone, I don't like driving. Um, I'll sit back, turn a movie on while I'm fucking driving the car. You know, driving the car. Can't wait for that day. Cannot wait for that day. Robot slaves are going to change the world, man. Reyes, Naquin, Santana, do up. Reyes, Naquin, Santana, do up for the, tw uh, the Indians. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to playing the Indians. Well, maybe we can actually beat the Twins if the Royals are beating the hell out of them. You live on a small lake. Oh, okay. Go home run for the Orioles. Hey, there we go. Wish the Tigers could hit a couple. They weren't always good, man. Do you remember the early 2010s? Do you remember till like 2014, 15, how bad the Indians Tigers were? Baseball on Fox Sports Detroit is that was a Comerica bad baseball Bay. team for a few years. Of what a bank can be, come to Comerica. During our heydays, man, we beat the dog shit out of this baseball team. The Motor City. And by Tryon Solutions at RelyOnTryon.com. I will. In a couple of years, this, the, this technology is going to be so Johnny good. King. John Keating, Dan Petrie, Craig Monroe on that Ball Shepherd. four, wash Sunday, five. Okay, let's go. Let's, hopefully you guys win this. For game Top three seven. This weekend Ray us between up. Between the Indians and the Tigers. The Indians won the first game. Two and five, Fulmer and bounces the first night, one in. One. Shit. Carson Fulmer is on to try and keep them off the board here in the seventh. He faces Damn. Fran Mil Reyes, Tyler Naquin, and Domingo Santana. Tigers trail by three. We've been trying to keep. I was a millionaire. Would I have a party? Um, yeah, probably. Three in the first three. Oh, they got three just pounds uh. one to center. I mean, that is lift off, and look at that. Another Up deep shot. The Ivy. Yeah, this game's over. This we lose. Dude <laughs> is some kind of strong. Mickey Callaway developed a bunch before Almost leaving town. Drink up there. Oh. Without that fence, that could be. In the parking lot across the street. Look at that, 453 feet. That's the second time we've seen this dude go that far in this series. Ugh. Just put a charge into it. Just a garbage performance tonight by the foot. This guy stinks. I don't even know why we have this dude in the rotation. Off the bat, like in any kind of form of a rotation. A like, ugh. About 20 degrees and 452 feet later, there, there it goes. Do you guys have a future star, or do you guys got another player that's going to leave Cleveland when you refuse to pay him? Time, Just to remind Cleveland fans, I, I'm going to be a dick right there and, and do that, but are you going to pay him? <laughs> you really going to pay him? <laughs> he, he's laughing. I'd be laughing, too. That's on the line. Have you ever paid fence. anybody? <laughs> that might be 500. I, I, I agree. I could be not liking it myself. Uh, Reyes was in the Bauer trades. Every time he does something down, great, I think of that. That's that's a fair point. By scope. That's my only argument to Cleveland fans. You guys better win soon because I don't know how you're going to be able to keep this team together. That's such a good that's team. Cleveland in some time of home yeah, run there's no DJ, uh, no DJ they, they Judge, are. nor Stanton. Jeez. Yeah, that's a pretty fuck. I was going to say, Judge and Stanton being out is usually well. an issue. I mean, five homers, two by Reyes. I can watch on the way to the on the way to uh, wherever. That saves so much time. Yeah, exactly. They trade they trade them away. I know, I know how it goes. For some reason, you guys don't like paying your stars in, in Ohio. Remember, Cleveland just smacked the three-run job. Homers in the opener. Reyes. Cleveland should have one of the. It's it's very weird that the Indians aren't like because they draft and develop players very well in Cleveland. Like they are very good at finding players and and, and developing them into their like natural like potential. It, they do it consistently. They this is uh, like this is just a cycle with this team. The way I've watched baseball, this is just the current iteration of a team that's going to fuel a bunch of other major league teams in a couple years. Like, all these guys are future other players. There's maybe two guys that'll stay, and the rest are going to leave. And it's, it's very strange with Cleveland because they do this every, like, five years. 
It, it feels like. It feels like every five or six years, Cleveland puts together like this weird little the super team. For Leon back and they just the don't pay it. And it's just like, it's fuck first since August 9th of That's, year ago. And it's weird that they do that. Boston. This is like the longest stretch of good Cleveland baseball I've ever seen as a baseball fan for since 2004. So... Yeah, Carson's from the White Sox. On Complete base garbage. Today. He walked back in the second. In between, in between he flew to center. Uh, borderline Hall of We've probably developed 10 future, present, or borderline Hall of right Famers since the 90s. Yeah, I would say that's about right. Respecting Which is just a crazy. The way that they've swung the bats, but it's counted. Uh, just series. a crazy amount Over of talent has gone through three. Cleveland. I'm pretty sure you guys had Manny in your system at one point. I'm pretty sure you guys have had... It's it's almost as creepy as the Marlins. Like, no no teams in baseball draft or, like, get players to the majors better than the Marlins or uh, better than the uh, than the uh, Indians, but they never get anything out of it. Like, the Marlins do the same shit. They, like, they have all these super players, and they get rid of them. I'm pretty sure, like, Yelich was a part of the Marlins at one point. Boy. Tome and Ramirez hit 7th and ninth in 94. Exactly, dude. Like, they, they had Victor Martinez. They had Carlos Guillen. They have all these fucking players. Like, the Tigers have traditionally just gone and taken players from the Indians. That is great. Great job. You took that right out of the middle. I don't even. I don't, hell yeah, Gold. That's uh that's that's from that show um Adventure No Payoff Adventure Time, right? And you walked it. Second walk for Lane. I don't know the name of that show. It's I, I think it's Pickle Rick Adventure Sports. Time or um The Grim Adventures of Rick and Morty. I think Okay, okay, it's just Rick and Morty. Why do I not know that? I like I know the show. Average distance. But I don't know the fucking name of it. I know the characters. Somebody I know what they look like. That is long. That is, is going to take Pirates. That's the average. Gibby, the, the average is four. Tiger's going to cost me money. To, I'm sorry it's to hear. It's not a small sample size either. That's they walked a guy bombs. with two outs. <laughs> yeah. I don't really watch Rick and Morty, though. I don't watch the show. I'm not a big fan of adult swim batting. shit for some reason. Batting practice, they have a hard time doing that. Yeah, like, the show's fine. There's Friday nothing wrong night, with the show. I have nothing negative to say about the show. And then his latest here. I just, I just don't like adult swim stuff for some reason. It's all funny. It's well made. It's, it's per, you know, it, I like the, the reason they make the shows they make on that. But it's something just doesn't click with me with the adult. I'm like, yeah, this is a good show. I just, I hate it. Ramirez went 434 feet. I mean, I don't know what that is. All right, all right, Kevin. Thanks for stopping by, man. Yeah, like I like I've I've tried to watch the show. I just go, I I get it. I get why this is funny. I know when it's funny. I get the show. Nobody's not trying. I th it's, it's a lot. It's a, it's. A, I think it's just the Adult Swim humor for me isn't like I don't connect with it for and like I want to. Has been aboard a couple of times, but like I don't know what it is. Single in the second, a bun single in the sixth. Just wish they knew how to take yeah, the tribe down. Very smart. Got some runs out of it. Maybe we'll still win this game. Tigers are like Cleveland Browns Cleveland of baseball. Three times in that sixth. Yeah. Inning. I don't think we're that bad. I would say there's other teams that are like the Cleveland Browns of baseball. And the 2-2. And he went too far. And that'll end the half. But friend, we're more like a... Um, built like a defensive end. Hit his second homer of the day. Folks, he's got we're not. We're nowhere the near the Browns. We're, 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 we have historical stuff. This one as impressive Go as to the bottom of the seventh for the Coming Tigers. Up, the DTE seventh inning stretch at home. Seventh inning stretch. Robot Chicken, yeah, it was funny for a little bit. And then it, it eventually ran its course. Like like I said, all those shows, I find very, like, I get the funniness. Um, the Cleveland Browns are worse than the Lions. Uh, the Lions are a better situation than the Browns, I would say.
Yeah, I don't know why. I just feel like they're very similar. Like uh, the Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. Like, or was that was that made by like the same? No, Dan Harmon didn't make. Dan Harmon made Rick and Morty, right? That's the creator of the show, right? I I think it's. What else has Dan Harmon made? That's why I don't I don't like community. I don't like community and I don't I don't like Dan Harmon as a writer. I d I think that's my main problem with the show. I don't find him funny. Like even like <sighs> something weird about him. He strikes me as a weirdo. I don't know what it is about Dan Harmon, the the creator of the show. Um I feel like he's a a kitty diddler. I don't know why I think that. I just I get this terrible feeling whenever I see him. I'm like, he looks wet like all pedophiles do. Like pedophiles always look like greasy and sweaty and shit. And he just has that weird, like greasy, sweaty. Ah, I don't, I don't fucking know. I don't really like talking about Dan Harmon. Cause I get that weird. Josh Gibson. Was he'd have fit in like at Nickelodeon with Dan Schneider type vibes. Play, uh, sometimes say Ruth was the white Josh Gibson. Born in Buena Vista, Georgia, he started playing baseball when his family moved to Pittsburgh and was discovered while sitting in the stands of a Homestead Grays game, the team he would play with most of his career. The folklore oh. surrounding Gibson ranges from home run balls disappearing into thin air to 500-foot bombs out of Yankee Stadium. Historians say he hit anywhere from 800 to 900-plus career homers. He once told teammate Lick Carlisle, Man, when I come to the plate, I'm already in scoring position. That's Larry Doby, right? How great is that? How great would it be to see Josh Gibson hitting this ball? Oh, Josh He'd Gibson, make it look okay. Small like Fran Mill Reyes, we know that. Again, yeah, dude, that dude hit like 900 home runs, probably. Mike Judge? No, Mike Judge is just a weird today. Texas guy. They have the cutouts here in the Tigers dugout. Cool pop. He's just a Bell, weird Texan guy. Made King of the Hill, history. made Silicon Bullet Valley. Logan, He's just a nerd. That just has a, a good all. sense of humor. League started, and of course, Turkey Stearns. Norman Turkey Stearns inducted in Cooperstown in 2000. It's been a great weekend. It's certainly a great day today for the great game of baseball, Ship. Amen to that, Johnny. Let's hope it gets better here if the Tigers can put some runs up on the board here in the seventh. Bradley Zimmer's come in to replace Domingo Santana. In you know who I wouldn't be surprised has some creepy shit going on Cam in their Cole life would be Matt Groening. Groening. Ball Club. He yeah. has that weird, sweaty, Scored fat guy thing second, about him, too. And it's just like, yeah, you fifth, creep me out a little bit, sixth, too. And another in the seventh. Thanks to five, yeah, King of the Hill is literally five, one of my favorite cartoons to watch. It's probably, it's in the, my time. I think it's, it's way up there. there. That was such a... King of the Hill is one of the most underrated comedic cartoons I've ever made. The consistency of the characters in that show is so fucking funny. And it's so... You can apply... What's up, Eric? You can apply so many of those characters in situations, and they did so well. No, we always lose. We just don't... We don't beat the Indians. I tried to tell everybody this was a three-game sweep, and everyone was like, No, you guys can win. Told you no, we weren't going to. Seen a little bit of everything in this I told everybody that this was going to be a series sweep, and everybody tried to tell me, no, Rob, you don't know what you're talking about. You can beat the Indians. You guys will get a win here. Really? Did I, that, why does anybody ever doubt me when I say these things? I know baseball. I know what we're getting ourselves into. We weren't going to compete in this series. And three runs driven in, but Bieber pitched yesterday. We already got slid it up. He slid us up. He like three hit us. No, he two hit us in eleven strike. He had eleven strikeouts and two hits against us. At the time, we thought the Tigers had taken a one-run lead. Did I was thinking about King of the Hill during Hard Knocks? King of the Hill. What what made you think of King of the Hill during Hard Knocks? Fucking Sean McVay, King of the Hill ass. I mean, if you think about it, I think the Tigers got really frust frustrated with it. Oh, God damn it. And that bleeded over into the following innings because Cleveland... Family guy's all right, but, like, they do too much and then comedy. 
Like, and then this happens, and then this happens, the and then this happens, and then this happens. The like, and I get it. That's the tradition. Like, that's a uh, that's a fine way to do things. But like, I prefer the um, button. Therefore, right? like South Park that. is. That this happens, the therefore this happens. This happens, runs, but this happens, and then but that happens, so therefore this happens. It, it's a better, like more engaging way to tell a story, and I think that's the major difference between the, the way South Park and Family Guy is written. And then, and but with South Park, it's but and therefore that follows up a beat in the story. Um, very, very, very crucial, very critical difference. It creates connections with that, whereas Family Guy can feel disjointed at times. And then, and yeah, then, and then, very comfortable hitting in you can the actually do that spot. with, you can't really do that Coming with South Park. This happens, and then this happens. That doesn't make sense. There's no connection between those two things. This happens, but, or therefore, this happens, you know. Hands staying tight to his body, this, short this happens, stroke. this happens, this happens, but kind of this happens. Angle. You notice that, how he keeps his hands right there above yeah. the belt? Yeah, and Family Guy uses the Family comedic formula of um, exposure equals funny. It, it's it's a very it's a very tried and true formula. You hate it, it's funny. It annoys you. It makes you mad. You laugh again, and it's just funny from then on. It's this weird cyclical thing, like the ah ah. This way, it's it's um. Like when Peter grabs his knee, the first second of that's pretty funny, right? It gets annoying. You start to get angry with it, and after a minute, you're like, why the fuck are they still doing this? Um. The evil chicken He's, fight, and then this happens, and then this happens, and then they go ball. through the wall, and then they go through the, you know, you can think about it, right with, it with the, uh, don't move very much, it's very short. whatever, shit thrower, Take I don't have to pitch. listen to you. Draws a walk. A Fix your fucking Hero country Castro. and stop having dunk throwing contests sure in your villages, started in and then right. you can talk to me, Moved motherfucker. To third, and then went back to right field. You know, Thank you, come again, motherfucker. Gross people. Terry Francona is going to make another move, it looks like. Looks like he'll bring in James Carinche. All right, he walks the guy. It looks like they're going to bring in series. another pitcher. Tigers down four. Trying to get a little closer. No, it's just like narrative setup of, a, of the jokes in the shows. It's, uh, it's fine. And there's nothing wrong with it. It's just two different ways of writing stories. That's why South Park gets like a lot of critical acclaim and everything. Um, because it's the, story, the writing's a little bit harder. But to be fair to Family Guy, they're not trying to appeal to the same kind of audience. Well, I would say Family Guy is attempting to be a bit more mainstream than South Park is. I don't know if South Park writers are necessarily shooting for the, the mainstream when, they, uh, when they're doing their thing. So we got a runner at first. One out here in the bottom of the seventh. Uh, Cabrera's up, and they are they switched pitchers from Cam Hill to somebody else. Who is it? Hold on, they just they just switched it. James Karit Karin Chak Karin Chak is coming in. This sucks. We're getting beat the shit out of. Rather unfortunate. Rather unfortunate. Oh, well, we have 29 likes. Thank you, guys. I appreciate that. Come on, Miggy. He, has he hit off those dudes before? I don't think... I don't know. I'm not too sure about his uh, at-bats with this guy. That'd be dope if Miggy hit a two-run job right here to make it 8-6. to six. But now we're in a bad situation of fucking... We're down by quite a bit. I think South Park fan base was wider than they thought. Yeah, I don't think they, I don't think South Park was ever made to ever, and it still isn't made to appeal to the mainstream. South Park just happened to appeal to a mainstream audience. Thank you, Alvin, for your Yeah, we still have time. We can still do this. Keep our community safe as we unite to defeat the COVID-19 pandemic. Let's go, let's go. Come on now. That is a challenging job, one that many don't want, but we salute you, sir, and thank you for your bravery. James Karinchek is on for the second Karinczyk. time in the series. We saw him throw in the seventh inning on Friday night in the Cleveland 10-5 win. And he set the Tigers down in order, including Miguel Cabrera, who he struck out. Let's see the adjustment made. 
I think he struck him out on three pitches. He's got a, a weird news delivery. giant sign X Pain Tree uh Panther uh, page Graham Gano. Oh you guys got Graham Gano? That's not Graham a bad kicker. Top. That's a really good one actually. Pretty consistent Lock guy. Swings above the strike zone. He'll drop that hammer in on you. Nothing to worry about. Karinchek has only allowed one earned run this year. Batters are four for 29 against him. Uh, Robert, right at it now. See what uh, uh, the stream and you see. got the motivated to, uh, you got me motivated to stream. I might go out and get me a mic today. Hell yeah, man, fish. Um, I would recommend getting a blue Yeti. That's a pretty good one. The one one. I, mean, I think the Simpsons right were side. the first cartoon Santana that adults would watch. Yeah, I think so. I think the Simpsons, that's correct. One of them anyway. Um, yeah, man, just uh, I'd buy a nice blue Yeti. Those are probably the best USB, easy to set up mics. And go for it, man. Nothing wrong with that. I think I like the dual team uh, hard knocks. Maybe not. Maybe next season should be on the AFC and NFC. That'd be interesting. Yeah, I do like the dual idea of hard knocks. I'll have to. I like the fact they're doing two teams. Makes it a little bit more interesting. He's a good kicker. I wonder now how the Lions training camp. I think it's going pretty good. I haven't heard anything bad come out of it. No news is good news. How about a blast here, huh? You leave for 25 minutes to play basketball, and it's yeah, we're losing now. Two outs here. Could be going for it. Scope fouls out. Pops it up, foul no way. It ran out of room. Oh, I was going to say, did we just fall out two in a row, dude? Looks like he sat on that breaking ball. That's what you call an overhang, just a little too much. A strikeout, a pop out, and a walk for Jonathan Scope today. All right, here, here we go now. Dun, 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 dun. Come on now. One swung on ah. missed. God damn it, dude. It's been hard to stream these games, by the way. It's fucking way brutal to stream losses like this. You get used to it, though. At the end of the day, at the end, of, it's like eh, at some point. You get used to it. Yeah, dude, it's so weird. It's so distracting. Yeah, I'm one and two. Whoever taught him that is a fucking genius because it works so well. Nine hits for the Tigers. But I bet you if he ever fucks up and goes in a slump, his career will probably be so weird because they'll make him change everything. Cleveland, then it's on to the White Sox, who are pretty tough. Because that's he's the only guy on earth that knows how to correct his own problems. Uh some Lions games, um, potentially, yeah. Depends on um, this if if they conflict with the Patriots, no. But conversations on how they can make the team better. No. Who they should send down? Who should, who they if they're not in confliction up? with the Patriots, and yeah, we'll do Lions games. Of course, we will. Next weekend, Detroit goes from Chicago, four games, then three games at Cleveland. Yep. A chopper over the bag. The play made. Oh no! No, they threw it away. Base. They sailed over the outstretched arm of Carlos Santana. Oh my goodness! Get a break there. Comeback started, baby. That's why you get it play. You hustle. Just uh, didn't step and throw it. That's way, way over. Just overthrew it. Is this going to be a three-run home run by uh, Candelario? We gave, we gave a couple of breaks to Cleveland, and they capitalized. Imagine we tie game. this shit up. I'd be like, I don't fucking believe what I'm watching. Keeps anymore. the inning alive for Jamer Candelario. Who else? We need a hit right here. Here we go. The error on Cesar Hernandez is the tenth miscue by Cleveland. Three run this homer. Year. Let's go, Candy. Candelario, Let's do it. Two for three today. Coming up in a big Need spot. Oh and one. Well, they just pound that. They just command that zone. Time to do some damage. Right on the corner for a strike. The two hit day for Candelario means he has six multi hit games this season more than any other Tiger. Here's the old one. Yeah, it's a very odd Fouls pitching delivery. Away. Very, very strange. 
O2. Down to his last strike, O2. I want this update. Got a guard against that off speed pitch down in the dirt. Hope you can still get a piece of a fastball. It's like acting like it just won't update, I guess. I don't know. Oh, good shit. Ooh, tough take. One and two. They could have ranked his ass up on that one if they wanted to. Really holding the ball at their stretch. He, the, the ducking the around there kind of uh, gave him a, a lot very big things, break. You know, just nagging at you. Tigers four for seven with runners in scoring position this afternoon. Here's the one two to Candelario. And he struck it. Hey, yep. Okay, right back with the same pitch. Strand yeah, two in scoring yeah, position. The lead remains four for Cleveland. Damn, let's go to the top of the eighth, and Cleveland's, you know, this one's over. <laughs> And let's see who do they who are the Indians sending up in the eighth inning? They got uh, Hernandez, Ramirez, and Lindor. Hernandez, Ramirez, and Lindor. Oh yeah, we've we've left a shitload of guys on base. That's gotta that's gotta improve. We gotta stop stranding so many guys at fucking bases, dude. <clears throat> it's not good. I'm gonna go piss again. I'll be right back. All right. There we go. We got a break and the, yeah, I know we did got a break and did nothing. Here's the upcoming pitching matchup presented by Wallside Windows. It'll be Matthew Boyd against Gio Gonzalez. We saw Gonzalez in the last series against this Chicago. This is like the Detroit second time this year the Indians needed their off. bullpen, so they're not sure uh, who's pitching for Detroit Tuesday well and Wednesday. And throwing like, yeah, they are. The, the, yeah, they are. Lucas Giolito. We do know the White Sox on Tuesday go with Dylan Cease, who Detroit plated five runs on seven hits in six innings against Cease. Got any ideas for those TBAs? Um, I, I'm guessing one will be an opener on Tuesday. So who and are you I'm going picking? and and I'm go well. It, it could be a guy like Anthony Castro. And I'm going to guess. My. That someone's going to get called up for Wednesday. From Toledo, to make a start. Shepard's making a call. Yeah. Shepard's predicting uh, Casey. Like I mean, you made the bold prediction yesterday, right? Or was it two days ago? I mean, the, the, on, on the win, I think it was two days ago. So I'm making the bold prediction. I'm going to make the bold yeah. prediction that Wednesday, Shepard's predicting Casey yeah, Mize will start Wednesday. I got a feeling. Yeah. Well. <laughs> exactly. Mean, just I, fucking I, call I him up at this point. Like, We're clearly not going to be a playoff better. team. Just call him up. And uh, they've been doing a lot of evaluating in, in Toledo. And they fill also, it all. Spencer up too. Just call Torkelson call up at this point as well. Fuck it. This at this point. Now you you watch a lot of the film. Yeah. You you get you are privy to that. What's been your take on on the young arms in Toledo as Hernandez sprays one to right? Well, I would tell you. One away. There's 
at least three guys down there that we're going to see here. They're they're good pitchers. It's a timing thing. When do you when you bring them? When don't you bring them? You want to know? How, you you want to see how much you can get out of them? Mm -hmm. How much you can improve them? How much you can control them? Because many of yeah, them I mean honestly, exactly. What do we do? We have nothing to lose. Call them up. And uh, you want to think a little longer term right now? Mm -hmm. I think I know everybody wants to win, as, as we all do. I don't think you're conceding. Winning no, Tigers. Here, but, Tigers fans would be you know, fine if we were losing. Like some, some we'd be fine with quick. losing and not making the playoffs Other if they'd let our younger players come up and let us see what our future slower. is. Give him a chance to succeed. Yeah, exactly. And he could would do well. Casey's really gonna be a good pitcher. And Scoogle would be three pitchers. And uh, you know, there's some other young fellows down there. Didn't he throw yeah, a no hitter in his like first double A start? Through on Friday. I don't know. Anthony Castro was the guy we so called up Wednesday, to replace Nova for a little while. Tomorrow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A weird distra it's like Slow a weird move. First, Candelario will take it himself. There we go. Two down. Sure. I think I think we're both pretty confident, whether it be Wednesday or later. That one of at least one of those young studs is going to appear in a fucking pussies league. won't say their names. Make his major league debut this year. I think you look at different groups of prospects. And bring up Manning, bring up Mize, and bring up Fiedo. Come on now. At another pace, and you put them through controlled circumstances for them to. See how they or react bring up Franklin. And see that they do react the right way, that they're thinking the right oh, way. Oh, one count. Lindor up. Important is it to back up base? I mean, this stuff has to, is, has to be implemented and imprinted. You can't be teaching guys to back up bases when they get up here. You just can't do it. Oh, Bo Burrows is on the mound. Relay options. You got. They got to know that. So they they have punched that hard. And. Uh, the kids who are there really have improved tremendously. Now, it's going to be tough when they get here, but they got the confidence to keep going. We'll see. A there one, we go. Two, three, eight for Bo hey, there Burrows. we go, Bo. Good job, Mr. Burrow. Let's go to the uh, bottom of the eighth. Lugo, Castro, and it looks like Cabrera. Yeah, 30 likes. Thanks, you guys. I appreciate it. Good looking out, everybody. I appreciate it. On behalf of the Reds, we let you borrow Trevor Bauer and Luis Castillo. No, thank you. <laughs> no, thank you on Castillo. Well, it was a fun run. We had a fun start to the season anyways. Sunny Gray. Yeah, we'll take Sunny. <laughs> All right. Hopefully uh, things go well this next half. Uh, I don't know. Bauer is lights out this year. I was going to say, yeah, I'd definitely take Bauer this year. With our luck, we'll get a, a one-run lead, and then Brian Garcia will blow it. Yeah, probably. That's probably, <laughs> that's probably our slotted fate in life. Dawell Lugo stands in for his first at bat of the day and first at bat right. of the series. He was a defensive replacement on Friday. 
We have great starting pitching. Two yeah, your bullpen's real bad in Cleveland or in Cincinnati. It'll be Lugo, Willie Castro, and Grayson Griner. Oh, it's Griner. Okay, Lugo, Castro, James Griner. It's a good opportunity for Dowell. First pitch swinging to right yeah, center. Good, hit, good little. There's Delano out. The Shields, and we welcome in Johnny Kane. Johnny. Well, I want to encourage everybody to tune into Tigers Live immediately after, and here's why. Remember, back in the third inning, uh, Fox Baseball rules expert Rich Marazzi will join John Best King, catcher Dan for the Beecher, Tigers. Monroe, uh, Romine. Romine should be. Right here. Rule, I'm not a big fan. Third inning. That was the initial turning point in the game. That was the go-ahead run for the Tigers, and instead, Miguel Cabrera sent back to third. It was a ground rule double for Jamie. Man, that fucked us over, I feel Tigers like. didn't ask for a review of the play. Was it reviewable, or is that just a judgment call? by Tim Timmons that can't be. Ron Gardenhire clearly argued his side. He was ejected. So I'll, I'll talk with Gardy or acting manager Lloyd McClendon, get their version of, of what transpired. It's all coming up. And it'll be 0-1. Castro up. He's 0 for 3 tonight. I'm sure or this afternoon, Chicago afternoon rather. Chicago has done today. They had four homers in an inning. I think Romine is just holding a uh, spot for. Uh, yeah, I think so. Uh, um, one of the catchers is holding a spot for until Rogers is ready. For the White Sox, who will host Detroit in a four-game series before the Tigers go to Cleveland next weekend. Willie Castro. Uh, the ground rule double is bullshit and ruined the game. Yeah, dude, it completely killed momentum for the Tigers, in my opinion. For the first big comeback of the year. It could it could have easily been five to three at that point. If the Tigers would have had momentum carried it. That's a foul ball. Oh, two. It remains. Well, Castro's versatility has come in handy here today. He started the game at third, then shifted over to short when Nico Goodrum injured his back. A lot of baseball going on. What did I see that St. Louis has got like 50? 54 games in like 49 days. Yeah, they're gonna play like 11. Tigers should be up 8-4, not mm. the other way. I think so too. I think so too. Momentum Tigers got killed at that point. Them, you know. Yeah. So we'll see St. Louis. They got one of the players that you really enjoy, huh? Paul Goldschmidt. He's great. You enjoyed managing him, didn't you? He might be one of your favorite players you ever managed. Coaching. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't say managing it, just, just coaching him. All the right. way he treats everybody. The way he picks up. He's smart. He's uh, very team-oriented. He's, he's a Here great we go. player. Oh, two to Willie Castro. Held up. But... St. Louis is a pretty good organization. You know they're going to do what they can do to accommodate getting all those games in. But they're going to be tired. Who cares, right? Not me. Not the Tigers. Well, yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This game is kind of dying, man. I don't think – I think if we don't score any runs, I'm going to bail out on the ninth inning. I've got a couple things I need to get done anyways. Powered by those homers we talked about. St. Louis – Normally, I don't bail out early on games, but uh, this is pretty well. If we don't score here, I don't think we're scoring five in the ninth yeah. inning. You know, I think baseball kind of likes the seven innings, though. You? Well, I remember playing it, playing them when I was in the minor leagues. Castro strikes out for the third time today, and there's two away in the Tigers' eighth. I don't really, like I said, I think I've only dipped out early on one other game this year, so. That's what's going on around Major League Baseball. Yeah, we need. If we don't put runs up, I'm. I can't fuck with the rest of this game, you guys. As well, Donovan Solano and Fernando Tatis Jr. has been incredible in San Diego, hasn't he? Yeah, I mean, and that's a a big park to hit in, but he he hits bombs. We watched him when he was in Lansing with Toronto's affiliate, playing there at. The, Ballpark. That ground rule double was whacked. So though. Yeah, it was, man. It feels like it screwed the uh, like the like the timing and the momentum uh, momentum of the game up. Like the Tigers just looked completely def like they just looked ah fuck it. Juniors twenty one RBIs is tied with Nelson Cruz the Twins. Tigers aren't capitalizing with runners. Yeah, that's another good point. Chaotic. That's a, another thing this team needs to do better on is hit better with guys on base. 
They've left like six or seven guys on base today. Uh, they've left numerous guys in scoring position. 1.57 rank sixth. Uh, these guys have been the, 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 so the problems like of a young really team, really. That's really the, the issues with the Tigers. It's it's all of the growing pains of a young team. But Dylan Bundy was uh, when he gets being scouted. Very unfortunate loss. Well, I'm I'm manager, I'm gonna be tailing out if Kevin we Towers don't succeed he was here. The best talent he'd ever seen. No kidding. He got hurt for any time a runner on first base, I expect. Yeah, that's how I feel too, man. Back, it's not fun. It's not like fun anymore. Uh, well, you know, it's, it's a little much. It's just a little much, I would say. And when you're trying to you make your way through the history of this game, mm -hmm. it's very hard to get the veteran those Cabrera came through the rest. Of yeah, Cabrera did everything he could today. He has three RBIs. He tried. Hard to go that long. The young cats just couldn't pick up the rest of it. It's Full three, count now for Griner. Griner. Still, anybody who's been around the game as long as Kevin Towers was at the time to say he's the best talent he's ever seen. Ever. Yeah, I'll be live. Well, um, I appreciate that, that 2K. I appreciate you coming around and watching. Yeah, we'll be live later like, tonight around like 11 o'clock, 10, 10 30, 11. Had so much experience. Shift makes that baseball exactly. different. A whole, yeah, it's totally different, the shift. Fuck. Griner strikes out to end Bryson the strikes out. A quick frame. Well, everybody, I think that's going to pretty much do it for me in this one. I'm I don't want to watch another big, you know, boring ninth inning. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and call that tonight. Uh, we, we're down eight to four going into the ninth. Um, I don't think we're going to win this game, and I've got a few things I'd like to do before the night streams. So I'll be live again tonight around uh, 10:30, 11, probably closer to 11. So like 10 45 to 11 yeah if they come back i'll be so pissed um but anyway thank you guys so much for tuning in thank you for the likes thank you to anyone new who subscribed i appreciate you very much um sucks looks like 20 games straight to the indians that's never a good thing um a five game losing streak has now put us to nine and ten um not good not fun so hopefully we turn it around um we play the white Sox again so hopefully we can win tomorrow night in chicago so all right, you guys. Yep, yeah, thanks, man. Uh, thanks to everybody who tuned, in, uh, who tuned in. And, you know, I'll be live a little later tonight. So thank you again, everybody. Take it easy. Have a good rest of your Sunday. Um, tough loss for the Tigers. Congrats, Indians. You beat us again. Peace out, everybody. Have a good one. Thank you.